Hey there folks, welcome to another virtual gimmick table. I am the man scout Jake Manning and I'm joined by Matt Hardy here on the All Hardy Show. Thank you so much, Matt Hardy, for joining us here today. You got it. Uh, very excited to be here. I have some really cool stuff to auction off a little bit later, as you can see in the background. You dug stuff out of your closet and everything. I appreciate that so much. So I dug good. very, very deep very out of my deep. closet. So there's a lot of cool stuff. But uh, yeah, just having a great time hanging out here, signing a whole bunch of cool stuff, and it's going to be a fun night. Absolutely. And also, too, like, you know, you've been busier than anybody else during this whole, like, you, most people, like, slowed down. You've been speeding up. Only right. you, Matt Hardy, can get busy in a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, you know, and you're very busy here today, and I want to let you kind of go off and go back to doing right that. On. I just wanted to have a say, every, hi to everybody to start off, but you have a lot of items you're going to be signing, and we're going to flash that graphic up right now of all the items you're going to be signing. So as that graphic comes off, comes on the screen, or you can go ahead and go. Thank you so much for joining us, Matt. Appreciate it. And you guys, make sure to tune in. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be really cool. Got some super cool stuff back here, some classics. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So the graphic is up right now. These are the items that are for sale. Matt already goes off and goes to the back. So uh, thank, you. thank you very much, Matt. I appreciate it. Uh, we're, in the, we're in the graphic right now. And just to let you guys know that we have for the promos available, we have Delete 20, uh, Belts 20. Uh, if you want one signed by Jeff and Matt, uh, we're calling this one Omega 40. Uh, and then, of course, we have this wonderful poster that was actually on social media and did the rounds that way. Uh, basically, if you're interested in this particular poster, put Twitter 60. And, of course, we have our Schamburger print. We redid it. We made it look better than it did before. Nice gold ink. Um, actually, I'm going to show you that print right now. Before, we had the two different colors. But as you see right here, we redid this. We made this far better. We're redoing this, and we got this one for $80. So if you're interested in this one, put Sham80. Uh, in the comment section. Of course, these will be available throughout the show. And of course, as Matt said, he's very busy with personalization with with all the items he has to sign. So personalizations are going to cost a little bit more tonight. Personalizations will be actually an extra ten dollars because we want to have Matt sign as many of the items in the back as we possibly can. So uh, if you really want a personalization, it's just going to be just a little bit more tonight because we're keeping Matt very busy. As you can tell, we didn't spend a lot of time with him on camera. I wanted to get him to the back as quickly as possible so he can keep signing because we have so many items and some of those items are on the table right here right now. So some of them are going to be handed to me eventually uh, as we go and get to them because they're much, much later. So uh, some more items will appear on this table as we get to the end of the show, through the hot starts. But before we get to the hot starts, we need to talk about invoices, guys. So please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome our wonderful invoice lady who's been working diligently since our 4th of July special. Come on in, Elizabeth. You got 45 seconds. I'll give, it, I'll give you 60 seconds today. Yes, you see, we're moving up, people. Yeah. Hello, Elizabeth Army. So... Our usual invoice rules are, please just send me your email to the High Spots page. That's all I need. Please don't ask repeatedly for your invoice. I got it. And then only message me if you have a problem. And then all invoices will go out within 48 hours. And I finished all the Memorial Day invoices. So if you have not received an invoice from me, it's because you didn't send me your email. So check the Facebook page. If your name's on there, send me an email. Also, look, everyone. There's... We have shirts now. If you want an Elizabeth Army shirt, just comment sold Elizabeth shirt, um, $20. And provide your shirt size. And you can still get combos for 10 Okay, bye, Jake. Bye, Elizabeth. Uh, bye, Elizabeth, but also hello, Emily Cease. I know you're watching here tonight. I actually unfairly called you out at a recent sale, and I just want to apologize to you. That was not fair, but I love you and adore you, and thank you so much for tuning in here tonight. And I and thank you all of you for tuning in here tonight, and hopefully you guys tune in this Saturday and this Sunday. Um, as we uh, are actually going to be the owner's kitchen table is coming back. We're not going to have a sell -a again this Saturday. No, we're, we're not that crazy. But we are crazy enough to have a Sunday show. The last merch standing, that will be happening. Uh, that will be happening while I'm pulling orders, uh, believe it or not. And actually, as soon as this show is over with, I'm going to take this sport coat off. And I'm going to start pulling orders from the 4th of July sale. They've been coming fast and furious, as the Blues has been telling you. Uh, she's been working very hard for that. And also, we've been working very hard on getting a lot of new items. You're going to see a lot of new items. 
items on the owner's kitchen table this Saturday. So tune in for that. But also too, next Thursday, we're going to have a ton of new items, a whole bunch of new items, a, punch, a bunch of items that are getting signed right now that you're not going to see right now. A bunch of items we got signed earlier Tuesday, you're not going to see right now. A bunch of items that we got signed at a different location on Tuesday that you're going to see next Thursday. You're going to have a lot of items that were signed from a different location on Tuesday. We had three different loca autograph locations going this past Tuesday, and those items are going to start filtering in, especially next Thursday when we have in studio Summer Ray, former WWE superstar, diva, however we want to call it these days. Uh, WWE uh, Summer Ray will be in studio selling her stuff and some pictures and stuff like that and we'll see what we got there but also too we'll have a lot of stuff that we've been getting signed over the last couple weeks so make sure you tune in specifically for the items but also for Summer Ray next Thursday. Um, also too guys uh, just as a reminder uh, before we get started the rules have not changed. Uh, a lot of things has changed for sure, especially the, the format of the show in the last couple of minutes. That's why it seems a little hectic right now. We've, we've kind of shuffled, shuffled the deck, but we're back in. We're back in schedule right now. We're back in a normal place where I tell you guys about the rules. If you guys are interested in an item that I put in front of the camera, what I need you to do is put sold. The item name and the price in the comment section. That's what I need. That, those three pieces of information. That's what I need to do. So if I'm putting an autograph figure... Uh, up on the on the screen and it's sixty dollars what I need you to do if you want said item I need you to put in the comment section sold signed figure 60 in the comment section if you put sold signed figure four dollars you did not make a sale we have rules in the society and I ask that you abide by them as the only rules we have that was three pieces of information sold item name and price the correct price and that's how you get those particular items a lot of items uh, we don't have like a hard cap only just on a few so we shouldn't have a problem and the lag shouldn't be an issue whatsoever but guys also too just as a reminder um, once you put that three pieces of information in there, they will like your comment. Elizabeth will like your comment. There's no need to be like, hey, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? We got it if we like the comment, okay? So once they like your comment, you're good. You got it. It's recorded. You're getting that item. We're going to box it off and ship it to you guys. And guess what? If you get $100 worth of items, we'll ship it to you for free domestically. So if you live in the domestic United States and you spend $100, which will not be tough tonight, uh, you get free shipping. Now, Canada, UK, we're not going to leave you out. As, as a reminder, guys, we try to get around that value-added tax. We're consolidating orders. Don't worry, Michael Kovacs. Don't worry, Don Wilson. We'll put a box together with all your guys' items. We'll ship it off to our Canada uh, representative, and they will get it out to you, and we'll avoid that value-added tax. Also, too, guys, remember there's a bit of a lag going on, so there's there, we're going to have some issues with that, but that won't come into kind of an issue until we get to the auction items when we get Matt back out here. It was very, very hectic in the beginning, so like I said, we were we, sorry if we were a little bit late, but don't worry, we're not going to be late whatsoever. We're not late in getting you those invoices. Elizabeth has been working very hard on 4th of July. And if you guys, if you have not sent your email account to Elizabeth, please, please, please do so, so she can invoice you. That's the only thing you need to Facebook message us is the email account that is in coordinates with your PayPal account, and then we can get you those invoices. Now, once you give those pieces of information, uh, Let's start the hot starts. Let's do it, guys. And also, as a big warning, guys, in this hot start, I know hot starts that come out of nowhere and we just jump on it. I want to give you a little bit of warning. There might be a little sticker shock right here at the beginning, but don't worry. We're going to go up. We're going to start high. We're going to go, go back down in some reasonable prices. Then we're going to go back up again, and then we're going to go down again. It's going to be having a flow. Don't worry. There's going to be a lot of high-dollar items, guys, so don't be warded off. We've got a lot of reasonably priced items, so if you're a fan of the Hardy Boys and and you're on a budget right now, don't worry, we got you covered. If you're big balling, uh, just like uh, Big Money Matt, don't worry, we've got high dollar items for you as well. We got everything. This is an all Hardy show. We've got a few Hardy adjacent items, but we got all kinds. And we're going to start with Hot Starts, an all Hardy Hot Start. And what better way to start than with the Hardy Funkos for $100. This is a Hardy Funko two pack. If you want the Hardy Funko, just put Hardy sold hardy funko 100 in the comment section that's all you gotta do is put sold hardy funko 100 in the comment section let's go ahead and close a look of these set autographs right here of course they will come in a protective case right here jeff a uh, nice green pen matt in purple right here matt just signed him just a few minutes ago we actually had jeff in here this tuesday 
we just got both of these items signed this week. Who are our first people to jump on this Hardy Funko for $100, Tommy? We have Drew Smith. Drew Smith, thank you so much, Drew. Ronaldo Vasquez. Ronaldo Vasquez. Jason Rich. Jason Rich. Jeff Schiffler. Jeff Schiffler. And Chris Manetti. Chris Manganini. Uh, normally I have an Italian guy to jump all over that, so sorry about that, Chris. Uh, but that's okay. I'm sure that we got some more coming in right we now, got, Tommy. We got Brandon Moreau. Brandon Moreau. Nicole Marquez. Nicole Marquez. Uh, we're going to let him come in and filter in right now. Of course, you can get these by just simply putting Hardy Funko 100. In, sold Hardy Funko. <laughs> Funko 100 in the comment section and you can pick one of these up right now uh, We're gonna let those filter in we got more than enough. We will cover all that But we, we need to keep moving We got a lot a lot of signed hardy stuff that we got to get through in this particular program They're gonna come in and time is gonna keep me abreast to the entire situation on that But let's introduce our next item which is an item that just got signed mere minutes ago guys uh, We just had Matt out here, but if you want to have Matt to come to your home most specifically the woken version all you got to do is put in the comment section, Matt Hardy Elite, Woken Figure 60 in the comment section. That's what you need if you want this signed Matt Hardy Elite Woken Figure for $60. All you need to do is put in the comment section, sold Matt Hardy Elite Woken Figure 60 in the comment section. Like I said, Matt just signed this just mere minutes ago right there signed and wonderful paint pen right there you can pick it up by just putting in sold matt hardy woken figure sixty dollars who are our first ones coming in right now we're still they we're still, still talking about the funko they're still talking about the funko don't worry funkos are still available funkos are still available for one hundred dollars but right now what i have is the matt hardy figure Right here. And also, too, guys, as a note, everybody that's picked up the Funko, you have free shipping throughout this program. You have free shipping now throughout this program. So go ahead, pick up this signed Matt Hardy figure for 60 bucks. You already got free shipping if you got the Funko. So jump on this Matt Hardy Elite Woken figure by just putting sold Matt Hardy Elite Woken figure 60 in the comment section we've got mike kovacs mike kovacs all the way in canada sir nicholas de salva nicholas de salva herbert champlin herbert chaplin and uh dan sky dan sky dan sky is kind of a new name popping up but you are running sky high my friend on all the deals that we have here on the virtual gaming table thank you so much dan for tuning in here tonight so like i said sixty dollars this Matt Hardy Woken figure by just putting sold Matt Hardy Elite Woken figure sixty dollars. So we'll give that another second, another little look. Let that lag catch up there a little bit. I think we have got so many items that we've got to get through. Uh, I'll make sure. And as a reminder, guys, we still have the Matt Hardy signed Funkos for one hundred dollars. Just put sold Hardy Funkos one hundred dollars in the comment section and they are yours you walk away with it. and once you get this you get free shipping you buy this one item right here right now you have free shipping throughout the program and you're gonna want it because there's a lot of other items on the table and the next item on the virtual gimmick table is a signed Matt Hardy elite figure but this is the Matt Hardy ECW one so if you're interested in this one I need you to put sold Matt Hardy elite ECW figure 60 in the comment section that's what i need to do right now is just put sold matt hardy elite ecw figure 60 in the comment section let's go get a closer look at this this figure this is a wonderful figure and the reason why it's an ecw one because he's got the ecw ecw belt right there of course signed a nice beautiful white paint pen right there these elite figures are just absolutely incredible wonderful detail of a figure right there like i said if you've already got the funko you're getting free shipping you can get pick this up already with the free shipping if you've gotten the funko already because we have the hundred dollar threshold and that will not be an issue whatsoever or you just want the two mad elites you're well over the free shipping threshold like i said it was not going to be a problem at all to get that hundred dollar free shipping guys uh just a quick note funkos cannot be personalized so the funkos cannot be personalized just to let you know the funkos cannot be personalized the only thing that can be personalized are the are the eight by tens the posters and the comic art piece that we listed at the beginning of the show 
Dan Sky. Dan Sky. Oh, Dan Sky. We're just picking up the two elite figures. You got free shipping, sir. And they're still talking about the Funkos. Of course they are. Don't worry. We're plug. We're gonna plug the Funkos between each one of these items because we've got the time. Uh, Rob Mack. Rob Mack, you're the next person to pick up. Thank you so much, Rob. You've been you've been a new viewer of the virtual gaming table. Thank you so much, Robert. And they're still talking about the Funkos. Of course they're still talking about the Funkos. The Funkos are the hot item, guys. Like I said, these Funkos cannot be personalized, uh, but they're quite a steal for just $100, guys. If you want the signed Hardy Funko, all you do is put sold Hardy Funko $100 in the comment section as i said matt signed it in purple jeff signed it in green they'll become in a protective case with a coa which will be made very shortly the only reason we don't have one right now for the show is because literally matt signed them a few minutes ago so but uh, like i said matt's back there signing we had jeff back there signing on tuesday and we got some wonderful items signed by him most notably a signed elite figure and we're calling this one jeff hardy elite 67 usa face figure and we're selling this one for sixty dollars all you got to do is put in the comment section sold jeff hardy elite u.s face 60 in the comment section and make sure you put the u.s face one because i got another jeff elite that i'm going to get to here in just a little bit but what i need you if you're interested in this particular jeff hardy one i need you to put sold jeff hardy elite u.s face 60 in the comment section and we'll go get a closer look at this wonderful autograph and this wonderful figure of course the reason we call it u.s face is because you got the red white and blue face we just had fourth of july i figured this is the this is the best one to put out here we're just coming off fourth of july right here wonderful detail figure of course you got the u.s belt beautiful paint pen autograph right here if you're interested in this one all you gotta do is put sold jeff hardy elite u.s face 60 in the comment section of course it will come with a wonderful beautiful coa there's jeff right there holding up the figure he was just here on tuesday we got the coa just in time printed hot off the presses and that will be included with this figure when we ship it off to you guys who has jumped on this u.s hardy face dan sky dan sky you're getting all the elite figures dan mike smith mike smith thank you so much mike Corey tungstall Corey tungstall jamie tyndall jamie tyndall and Jay Odie. Jay Odie. We are, they are coming in right now for these Jeff Hardy Elite U.S. Face figures for $60. And those people that have already got it, basically what they did, and they put this piece of information in the comment section. They put, sold Jeff Hardy Elite U.S. Face 60 in the comment section. That's what they did. That's exactly what they did. And they picked up this figure right here and that's all they had to do now the reason why i had to be the u.s face is because i have another jeff hardy elite figure right here and we're doing this we're doing this one we're going to call this one jeff hardy elite white shirt because there's a white t-shirt on we're also doing this one for 60 dollars as well so if you're interested in this one all you need to do is put sold jeff hardy elite white face white white face i mean white shirt uh 60 excuse me uh tommy that is i'm white i can say that okay so i could get away with it there's we have we have so many things on the show that we make the distinction on what it is by the face paint on jeff hardy's face okay the fact that i haven't already called jeff matt and matt jeff yet is already a mere miracle folks okay as rushed as we've been for just to get on the air because i was pulling orders right up until the last second but i would love to pull an order for you tomorrow when you get that invoice that says uh, sold jeff hardy white shirt 60 that's what i want to see let's go and get a closer look of this autograph right here of course he's got the shirt right there all i need to do is put sold jeff hardy white shirt 60 in the comment section and you can get this jeff hardy elite figure who is one of the first people to jump on this tommy david lankus david lankus Dan Sky. Dan Sky. Dan Sky, you got all four. You got free shipping. You got all four elite figures. And more talk about the Funkos. We'll get back to the Funkos. But let me show you this COA for the Jeff Hardy <laughs> Elite White Shirt. $60. Here's the wonderful CA, COA of Jeff right there holding the figure. He signed it here in the office this Tuesday. All you need to do is just put sold. Jeff Hardy White Shirt 60. And you get this figure right here. But guys, 
I know what you're talking about. If you're just tuning in right now, if you've been calling your friends, we have available signed Hardy Funkos. We cannot personalize them. No, we cannot. No, but they are only $100. Guys, all you got to do if you want these Jeff Hardy signed Funko figures. It's a two-pack, obviously. Matt signed in purple. Jeff signed in green. All you need to do is just put sold Hardy Funko 100 in the comment section, and it is yours. You will get this a nice protective case it was shipped off to you and also too guys remember you buy this you get free shipping throughout the program so if you want any one of the, the pictures you get that basically thrown in your package and you're getting free shipping regardless so go ahead and pick up this funko right now get over that hundred dollar threshold and then the rest of the show you don't gotta worry about shipping so that's what i would suggest to you guys you know if you're smart like you said you could just pick up the funko for a hundred and you would get this ten dollar item with three sh free shipping that's it. That's right, guys. I have the Hardy Boys wristbands. These are nice leather wristbands uh, for $10. Like I said, we, we started high. We're going to work our way down. We're going to work our way back up towards the end. But right now, what I have are these Hardy Boys leather wristbands for $10. All I've got to do is just put sold Hardy Boys wristbands $10 in the comment section. Let's get a closer look at this. Of course, they are all individually wrapped. Right there. Nice leather wristband with the snaps. All you do is put sold Hardy Boy wristband $10 in the comment section. Hey, if you already got the signed Funko, go ahead and pick this up for an extra $10. You already got the free shipping. You don't got to worry about it. And I think those two items will fit in a bag, to, uh, box nicely. So who's going to jump on it? Uh, Miles Kane. Miles Kane, all the way from Oregon, sir. Paul and Tilly. Paul and Tilly. And more Funkos. Someone said it's the Goldberg of the gimmick team. Oh, Goldberg. I mean, <laughs> this is not just the, this is the Andre the Giant of the virtual gimmick table. Nobody stood a chance when it came to Hardy Funkos. Uh, it took, uh, so many of you are typing in the comment section right now, sold Hardy Funko 100, and you're picking up these signed Funkos, and you're getting free shipping throughout the program. You could win any one of these items back here for auction and it'll get shipped out to you for free because you picked up the Funko earlier in the program. So go ahead and do that in case you win. You get free shipping on an auction item. You might you might need to, need to save that money for some of the bids on these particular items. So keep that in mind. All right, let's look on to another. Okay, this is an interesting one right here. This was a last minute change. So I have this Matt Hardy shirt. Right, for, for, that, we, that we got right here, this Matt Hardy Woken shirt. Uh, we have sizes medium to 2XL, okay? And we're gonna sell this shirt for $20, but you're like, mm, let's, let's do something special. Instead of just giving one shirt away for $20, let's throw in a Jeff Hardy shirt. It's gonna be a random Jeff shirt because we, don't ha we have odd sizes of Jeff shirts. We have all, all over the place. So whatever shirt size you get, make sure you put sold matt hardy shirts your shirt size 20 in the comment section and guess what when you get that matt hardy shirt you're also going to get a jeff shirt and it really depends on what shirt size you select if you're a medium you might get this shirt if you're an extra large you might get this shirt right here this wonderful jeff shirt right here if you're a 2xl you might get this tna hardy sh jeff Har jeff hardy shirt it all really depends you might get this this will shirt if you're you're an XL. It all really depends what your shirt size is. But if you want this Matt Hardy shirt and the extra Jeff Hardy shirt, all you got to do is just put sold Matt Hardy shirt 20 in the comment section and make sure you put your shirt size. That's the most important thing. And that just will let us know which one of these will send out to you and which Jeff you're going to get. So all you do is put sold Matt Hardy shirt 20 in the comment section and your shirt size so that way we can put it on your invoice who are going to be some people that are adding this to their invoice bill yankovi bill yankowie 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 come on come on tommy uh, david roberts david roberts uh, sometimes i call him david robinson so don't worry so <laughs> he's not the admiral Jason Flanagan. Jason Flanagan. Matt Moore. Matt Moore. Paul and Tilly. Paul and Tilly. Jody. Jody. Are the shirts catching up to the Funkos at all, or are we still selling Funkos right now? Still selling. 
still selling Funkos. Still full of selling Funkos. Okay, that's nice to know. But we're nice to know we're still selling some of these shirts. And like I said, you're getting not just just this Matt Hardy shirt. You're also getting a Jeff shirt as well uh, added in there for that twenty dollars. No extra charge. All you got to do is just put sold. Matt Hardy shirts cool. 20 and your shirt size, and we will throw in a yeah. Jeff shirt for free. Okay. So that's how we'll look at it. That's what we're going to do. But Jake, if, we're getting a lot of requests to see the photos, 8x10s up close. Oh, absolutely. We'll do that right now. Uh, let's get let's get these things up close. Also, too, silly me, I did not discuss this wonderful comic art piece right here. We have an art print, and all you got to do is just put art print 40. We had this made particularly for the show. It will be autographed. This can be personalized. The Funkos cannot be personalized, but this can be personalized to you for an extra $10. We're selling this art print for $40. The four different versions of Matt right here. Of course, Matt signing it down here below. You can get this for $40. You can get it personalized for an extra $10. You can get this personalized for 50, you get it $50 and it comes personalized, but you can just get it regular just with the autograph for 40 by putting art print 40 in the comment section. I made this particular just for the show. I highly recommend that you pick this one up. And of course we have this uh, Twitter poster that we are, we're calling Twitter 60. This is the code right here and it's signed by both Jeff and Matt. And of course the different phases of their career right here with them and also all the pictures listed on here are all the belts they're all belt pictures right here all different phases and like i said it is signed by both jeff and matt and you can get this by putting the code twitter 60 in the comment section and of course there was a request to see the 8x10s these like i said these 8x10s can be personalized unlike the funkos this right here, this is the one, this is the hot seller right here. If you want this one, all you gotta do is just put delete 20 in the comment section and it's an extra $10 to get it personalized. So for $30, you get this wonderful, beautiful picture personalized to you just by putting delete 20 in the comment section and for an extra $10, you can get it personalized to you or whoever you want it personalized to. Just put delete 20 for this one. This one, of course, we're doing the belts, just put belts 20 in the comment section if you're interested in this piece right here. Of course, signed right here by Matt. And if you want to personalize it, it's an extra $10 as well. And of course, this one right here, signed by Matt and Jeff. This one we're calling Omega 40 because it is signed by both Matt and Jeff. Of course, we can get this one personalized as well for an extra $10. But just put Omega 40 and you get an autograph of Jeff and Matt. Like I said, if you've already got the signed Funkos, you, this will, you're get, already getting the free ship and you might as well pick up this Omega 40, just by typing Omega 40 in the comment section, or just pick up this, this one with all the belts for 20 by putting in belts 20. But really, if you have an option, if you ask me, you want this one. And all you gotta do is just put delete 20 in the comment section. All right, for more than a few seconds. And also, too, as a reminder, guys, we redid the Shamburgers. We've made them look far better than it did before. The Shamburger print is now $80, and I'll tell you why. Because look at how beautiful this autograph looks now. We had them just different colors and squiggly, and the, the autographs didn't look as good as they do here. But right now we have Matt signed it, a nice gold pen, and Jeff signed it right up here. And if you're interested, just put Sham80 in the comment section. We redid this. We re-signed them. It's now a beautiful art piece. The autographs are fantastic now. now. If you want this one, all you got to do is just put Sham80 in the comment section. And this can be personalized to you for an extra $10. Okay? So those are the posters. And as a reminder, we do have this Twitter one by putting Twitter60 in the comment section. It can be personalized to you as well for an extra $10. And, of course, it is signed by Jeff and by Matt, and has pictures of them holding the various belts that they held throughout their career. And of course, I was so silly not to bring this up at the top of the show, but I'm bringing it up right now, and I'm driving it home. This art print, you can get this by typing in art print 40 in the comment section, signed by Matt down here just below this wonderful art print. I, this is, when I saw the, the ver this version of it, I was just blown away by it. So you can be blown away by it too. And it can be hanging on your wall, and for an extra $10, 
for 50 bucks total, you can get it personalized to you and whoever you want it personalized to. Can you tell them the sizes on those? Oh, the size on this one is 11 by 17. Of course, this one right here is also 11 by 17. I believe we are 18 by 20, 24 on the Shamburger. And of course, the 8 by 10s are 8 by 10s or 8 by 8.5 by 11. So these are 11 by 17, wonderful. Just like all our other art prints that we have uh, had on the virtual gimmick table. Okay. It's, it's people. It's quite okay. If, if listen, if I just got to hold this Funko up for the entire program and just say, if you're interested in getting a signed Hardy Boys Funko, all you got to do is put in the comment section, "Sold Hardy Funko 100" in the comment section, and you can get this. Like I said, the, the Funkos cannot be personalized. They will, cannot be personalized. No, they cannot. But you get these wonderful two autographs by Matt and Jeff Hardy. Of course, Matt right there signed it in purple. Jeff signed in green. And they'll come in a nice protective case and a COA. And we ship them off to you. And get this by just putting, typing in sold Hardy Funko 100 in the comment section. So they're all coming in. You don't. You don't need to. I, I assume everybody who is watching right now. What is our total right now? And people watching right now, Tommy. Uh, we are at three twenty-eight. Three twenty-eight. Three hundred twenty-eight people. Thank you, each and every one of you who are watching here tonight. And hopefully, every one of you have picked up a signed Hardy Funko by typing in the comment section. Sold Hardy Funko one hundred in the comment section. Okay, I believe we left off with t-shirts, and like I said, we threw in an extra Jeff shirt with the Matt shirt. So if you're interested in the Matt Hardy shirt, all I got to do is just type sold Matt Hardy shirt 20 and your shirt size. And once you do that, you also get a free Jeff shirt just thrown in. So you're getting two shirts, $20. But I have a very special shirt, a shirt that we've got limited sizes in, a shirt that comes in small all the way up to extra large. So you get small, medium, large, and extra large. But it's a super cool shirt. It is a Jeff Hardy spandex zip-up shirt. And I'm selling this one for $25. This is very similar to what, what Jeff would wear in the ring. Matter of fact, if Jeff showed up to a show and didn't have one of these, he would ask if I had had one of these so he could wear it when he wrestled. So just to be really quite honest, that's now none of these shirts are ring worn. No, but this would be something he could wear in the ring if he wanted to wrestle and he forgot his wrestling gear at home. He's like, hey, I'm already in jeans. I'll just put this on and people get it. You can get it just like Jeff Hardy. And the way that you can get it is by typing in sold Jeff Hardy spandex shirt 25 in the comment section and make sure you let us know if you're a small medium large or extra large those are the sizes that i have unfortunately the extra large is as big as i get but i got all the way down to small adult small so like i said nice zip up shirt you can wear it super cool zips down if you want to let that taco meat show showing you can do that as well you can most certainly do that if you want but like i said we got the jeff hardy spandex shirts are available for $25 and if you want one all you have to do is type in soul Jeff Hardy spandex shirt 25 in the comment section and make sure you put your shirt size but I'm sure it doesn't make a difference because everybody's buying Funkos right now is that right okay cool yeah anybody pay, did anybody pick up this manager nope. not a person not a single person not a single person everybody's stuck on those Funkos but that's okay those Funkos are a very rare piece I know they'd be blowing everything up so I'm gonna hang, hold this up, and hopefully the lag will correct me. But I'm sure every, keep selling them, keep selling them. I will keep keep selling away on these zip up Jeff Hardy, zip up shirts. I'm I'm I put, I'm hoping the lag. I'm hoping because we we I know we've got of 300 people. I know that kind of crams things up. 320. Uh, 320. We're at 320 people right now streaming. Thank you so much for every one of you that have tuned in here tonight. Um, I don't know if it was because Matt's on the was on the stream at the beginning or because we had the Funkos. Miles Kane. Miles Kane, thank you. See, you know what, Miles Kane, all coming coming through in the clutch all the way from Oregon. Nice to know somebody in Oregon cares for me. I appreciate that so much. So right here, if you're interested in this Jeff Hardy zip up spandex shirt, all you need to do is put sold Jeff Hardy spandex shirt 25 in the comment section. Make sure you put your shirt size and the sizes that we have are small, medium, large, and extra large. Those are the sizes 
that we have. And as a reminder too, guys, we got the, the Matt Hardy shirt as well that we have all the way from medium all the way to 2XL. And with this purchase of the Matt Hardy shirt for $20, we'll throw in a Jeff shirt for free. That's right, folks. All you got to do is just put sold Matt Hardy shirt 20 in the comment section and make sure you include your shirt size so I know which Jeff shirt to throw in for free. Two shirts, $20, Hardy Boys. And of course, I got the Spandex one for $25 as well. Logan's Cicade Blue. Okay, I'm not even going to... Logan, uh, sorry, <laughs> Tommy. T Tommy, Logan. I promise you, Tommy will <laughs> type it in correctly when we put this spandex shirt in your box tommy our head of shipping is now in charge of keeping me honest while i'm on camera they've also asked could you try it on this try it on one. okay are you guys gonna buy it are we gonna do it okay as a reminder guys this, this is gonna might as well plug it as we go if you're interested <laughs> in the hardy funko right here if you're interested in this hardy funko right here all i need you to do is type in sold hardy funko 100 dollars in the comment section it is signed by matt and jeff comes in this nice protective case but right now i gotta put this on this is a small too this is a small this is a small this uh, this was poorly thought out uh i now regret this decision but don't worry i haven't been eating a whole lot recently oh and you got the little i'll see you got the little things right here you got the little little little, little, little sleeves right there to make sure it don't move around too much because it's small the fact that i'm fitting in a small kind of disturbs me right now i'm just i'm not gonna lie but this is what the shirt looks like See, right here, right here, this work, this work, you feeling this? See, and even too, you look super swole, you know what I'm saying? You can get two sizes smaller, and it looks great. And if you want to look as great as I do, well, I mean, if you want to look as great as I do, you're going to have to work out a whole lot. But if you want to look as great as I do in this shirt, all you got to do is put sold Jeff Hardy spandex shirt 25 in the comment section. You just don't realize I did it. You just realize how good I look in it. And you can look this good too by just simply put typing in sold Jeff Hardy zip up spandex 25 and make sure you clarify your shirt size. All we have available is small, medium, large, and extra large. But heck, if you got small, that's all you need apparently. Charlie Napier. Charlie Napier. Charlie, I got your items back here. Come on over and pick them up. I can't guarantee I'm going to be wearing these shirts, but I'll probably have my hands like this because I can't unput my hands while I'm wearing the shirt. So this is how I do it with my hands when I got the shirt on. But I'm going to take the shirt off. I'm doing a, lo a lot of song and dance just so for our invoice people to catch up because they're selling Hardy Funkos right now like crazy. And all you got to do if you want to buy a Funko is by typing in sold Hardy Funko $100 in the comment section and it can be yours and you will get free shipping throughout the entire program you're getting a lot of comments on how uh, how jacked you looked at it yeah i know and i should um but anyways <laughs> what i should do is move right along to the next item and the next item is actually a dvd a dvd that i'm very proud of it is a documentary called omega uncommon passion it is about uh, Omega Organization of Modern Extreme Grappling Arts, which is the promotion that Matt Hardy started with his brother and his group of friends, Shane Helm, Shannon Moore, Champagne, Joey Abs, all the guys in the North Carolina area. This is a documentary about the, the revolutionary indie promotion known as Omega. It is a two disc set and we're selling this for $15. All you gotta do is just put Uncommon Passion DVD 15 in the comment section, but make sure you put the word sold uncommon passion DVD 15 in the comment section. Like I said, I produced this. I produced this documentary. This is one of the first documentaries that I ever produced. So if you're a fan of me or how jacked I looked in that Jeff Hardy shirt, pick up an uncommon passion DVD by putting in the word sold uncommon passion DVD 15 in the comment section. Like I said, it is a two disc set. We will go to right here. Wonderful two disc set right here. You got Brandon Mula. Brandon Mula, you're always on top of all the DVDs we've got here, so thank you so much for that, Brandon. Jay Odie. Jay Odie, you never run away from a DVD. I appreciate that. Ryan Adams. R Ryan Adams or Brian Adams? Ryan. Ryan, okay, so it's not the Canadian singer. Got it. Cool. Uh, Jonathan Michael. Jonathan Michael, thank you so much for picking on this Uncommon Passion. Very near and dear to my heart. This is how I got to be such good friends with Matt Hardy. Did you not see the chemistry we had earlier? It wasn't awkward at all. Definitely not. So. <laughs> William Ublett. 
William Uplett. Who, who's who's going to be the next person to get this two disc set? P. Vince Graff. P. Vince Graff. Like I said, guys, just put Soul, Uncommon Passion, 15 in the comment section. You walk away with this wonderful documentary. Of course, we interviewed Matt, uh, Shane Helms, Jeff. Uh, the only person that did not appear, actually, I can list off everybody. Everybody's in there. The only person that is not in there is uh, Shane Helms because he's the only worst person that could keep a job for a long period of time. Are there any <laughs> matches on the DVD? There is. Ma there, I believe there is matches on the DVD, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's what the entire disc two is. There's a lot of extras and, and matches. Some very classic matches on there. So, I highly recommend. It's been a few years since I've, I've looked at this DVD. I think I even got Joey Matthews to appear on this DVD as well for a short period of time. So I got I got everybody. This was this was painstaking. This is this was a labor of love for me. And Matt was very appreciative of this. And actually, uh, Matt has got a, a shadow box where he keeps a lot of his DVDs where he was featured on. And this DVD is hanging up on his wall. So it means a lot to Matt, and hopefully it means a lot to you. And if it, it means a lot to you, if you want it to mean a lot to you, all you gotta do is put sold uncommon passion DVD 15 in the comment section. All right, we're gonna move right along. We gotta actually have a combo, because guess what? Since you guys gave me a hard time about combos this past Saturday, uh, I'm gonna punish you again with combos. No, I'm not gonna punish you. I'm gonna reward you with a combo, because I think this is a good combo. It's a nice, easy combo. I didn't kill myself like I did for all those other combos that nobody cared about this Saturday. Combos did great. Thank you so much. Uh, Elizabeth's only saying a combo did great because she's talking about her combo, not mine. Um, <laughs> It's okay, we've created a monster. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> I love you, Elizabeth. <laughs> She's rather quiet over there. <laughs> well, tell you what, you know what makes Elizabeth really good, feel really good, is when you guys type the word soul Jeff Hardy combo, $10 in a comment section. You want Elizabeth to feel good right now. Uh, all you knew is put soul Jeff Hardy combo, ten dollars in the comment section and you can get this hat and this deck of playing cards uh these are jeff hardy playing cards that were done by T impact wrestling sorry not tna branding pardon me i don't know if they had a six-sided ring or four-sided ring at that time regardless what you can get is a deck of playing cards right here and then a hat you can get this for ten bucks you get these two items ten bucks by typing in sold jeff hardy combo ten dollars in the comment section all you gotta do, we got anybody jumping in? Not a, not a person, not a person. So the, the well, combo they caught on to the spandex. They've caught, they finally got on the spandex. <laughs> yes. I'm finally getting compliments on how amazing I look, and I'm, I'm trying to sell combos. Story of my life. I'm trying to sell combos, and we're talking about something that happened 20 minutes ago. Miles Kane. Miles Kane. Miles Kane. Don't leave me hanging. Miles. Next time I go to Oregon, I'm gonna visit you. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna visit you or, or Oregon. You, me, Miles Kane. Maybe prestige wrestling. I don't know. I'm gonna have a good time next time I go to Oregon. Hopefully, I see you, Miles Kane. You don't leave me hanging, especially when it comes to selling Jeff. Hardy combos for ten dollars. Robert J R Mendez. Robert J R Mendez. Can we put another initial in there, sir? Uh, Jamie Tyndall. Jamie Tyndall. Thank you so much, Jamie. And Dustin Robbins. Dustin Robbins. Thank you, sir. Okay, we're gonna let these combos roll in because people are just now getting to how good I looked in that spandex shirt. That's what's going on right now in the comments section. But if you are interested in this combo right here, just put sold. Jeff Hardy combo 10 in the comment section is a deck of playing cards and a hat. There's a lot of comments asking you to put the spandex shirt back on. Put it back on. Yes. And do the dance. And, and do, the dance. do the dance. Well, listen, may, maybe, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll bring that shirt back out if we need to do something for the auction, okay? We'll see, see what it is, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Maybe I need to kill some time. We'll, let's, 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 let's put a pin in that right now, and we'll come back to that. Because this show is already off the rails. This this show has gone very off the rails. And speaking of off the rails, we had to have an appearance by Will of the Wisp himself. We have a Will of the Wisp mask right here, and it is signed. A signed Willow mask, and we're selling this for thirty dollars. Guys, if you're interested in the signed Willow mask, all you gotta do is put sold Willow Mask 30 in the comment section. Right here. Right, there's a good look at the autograph. And of course, let's zoom in real tight 
Because he put in, he put Willow right here. You can see Willow. All you had to do is put sold. Willow Mask 30 in the comment section. Joshua Cummings. Joshua Cummings. David Tucker. David Tucker. Now they're rolling in. Now they're rolling in. Jay Odie. Jay Odie. Miles Kane. Miles Kane. Miles Kane. He's been knocking away. He's he's getting that free shipping one piece at a time, friends. Uh, they like to know how big the mask is. Like, will it fit on a normal size head if they ever choose to? I'll tell you, listen, if you choose to put it on, but it is autographed right here. This is what it looks like on a normal head. This right here. Apparently, you know, I'm, I'm a mannequin. That's what I am. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just small enough and just big enough that gives you an idea of what it looks like on a normal human being. So this right here, if you're interested in this, all you got to do is put sold willow mask 30 in the comment section. They're now saying you should put on Elizabeth's shirt. I should put on Elizabeth's shirt. Elizabeth, how much are you selling your shirts again for? Twenty dollars. Tell you what, no one, no one makes Elizabeth very happy. Is when you buy Elizabeth's shirt for twenty dollars, just put Elizabeth twenty in the comment section if you want to make it up to her. So that's all you got to do. They, they actually didn't see it before because we put a graphic over her. Oh well. Okay, if she wants to run back out here again and show Elizabeth, so Elizabeth shows off her shirt. If you want to see Elizabeth's shirt right here, twenty dollars. This is twenty dollars right here. Just put Elizabeth. 20 in the comment section you can pick up elizabeth shirt now the willow mask right here you just put sold willow mask 30. i have combos for 10. she has combos for 10. that's why she loves the combo section anyways anybody else on this willow mask uh a lot we've had james heb well, james heb all right <laughs> not that i'm like hey james heb what are you doing buying a mask i was like hey james heb i haven't called your name yet we've also had p Vince Graff again. P. Vince Graff. Fred Carpenter. Fred Carpenter. Tyree Davis. Tyree Davis. And that's... Uh, we'll let it go. We'll let it go. More we'll Funkos. Let, more Funkos. More Funkos. Once again, guys, if you want the Hardy Funko, all you got to do is put sold. Hardy Funko $100 in the comment section. And once you buy this, you get free shipping throughout the show. That's it. That's all you got to do. $100. That's the threshold. We didn't, we didn't move that whatsoever. We did not move that whatsoever. But uh, we need to move on because we're spending a lot more time than expected. This is I'm putting items on. I'm wearing items. I'm gonna have like six shirts on when Matt comes back out here. I might have all. I might have all his auction items on when he comes back out here. But right now, what I have on the gimmick table is a Jeff Hardy CD for ten dollars. This is Jeff's musical CD. It was put out uh, by Impact Wrestling. So if you're interested in this Jeff Hardy CD, just put sold Jeff Hardy CD ten in the comment section so let's go ahead and take a look at this particular cd right here of course it's already shrink wrapped right here wonderful cd case miles kane miles kane like i said one piece at a time miles kane you probably already got the hundred dollar free shipping and you've got eight different items jeff or jay Ode. jay Ode. uh robert jr mendez robert J R P R W R mendez Who's the next person to pick up this Jeff Hardy CD for ten dollars? Just put sold Jeff Hardy CD ten in the comment section. Brandon Messina. Brandon Messina. Coming in fast and fierce. That's why I like this show. You guys are buying like crazy. You guys have come to play. You have come to play today on this all Hardy show. We also have Jesse Coffee. Jesse Coffee. That's right. And like I said, you guys have come to play. And guess what? Once you get the CD, you can hit play. If you guys remember how to do that and remember how to play CDs. Or you can just rip it and then put it on your iPod. Wait a minute. You ever has music on the phone now. I sound like an even older man. Let's let's move on. Let's move on. But if you're still interested in this Jeff Hardy CD, just put sold. Jeff Hardy CD 10 in the comment section. All right. We got an item for you that showed up on Memorial Day, but we're going to bring it back now. And we got enough of them in a limited amount. And we're bringing it back. It is the Hardy Wrestling Buddies. And if you want the set, Matt and Jeff, I need you to put sold Hardy Wrestling Buddies 60 in the comment section. That's right. We're selling them together. All you got to do is just put sold Hardy Wrestling Buddies 60. 
60 in the comment section. You can have them fight each other. But nobody wanted to see them fight each other. They had so many feuds against where they'd fight each other, and nobody would really want to see them. What they want to see is them fighting other people. That's what they wanted to see. And you can do either or. We'll do the book whatever you want when you get these Hardy Wrestling Buddies for $60. Just put sold. Hardy Wrestling Buddies 60 in the comment section. That's all you got to do. Right there. Just type that in. Who's going to be the first person to jump all over these Hardy Wrestling Buddies? The nice pillows to be thrown around. It's good. And it got the you know, Woken version. You got the Jeff right here. You can have them both for $60. Dollars. No. Huh? It's lagging. It's lagging. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it, it's fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. Michael Davies. Michael Davies. There, they're coming in now. Ricky Cope. Ricky Cope. Uh, Matt Prohl. Matt Prohl. Uh, Derek Rowe. Derek Rowe. See, now they're rolling in. Now they're rolling in the wrestling. Hardy Wrestling Buddies 60 is, is all they are. You just put in sold. Hardy Wrestling Buddies 60 in the comment section. And they, they're a set. They are a set. They come together. It's not this one 60 and this one. No, they come together. That's why I'm holding them tight right now. I'm holding them very tight together. I'm maybe holding them a little too close, but I mean, ther therapy has been very rough this week. So I just I need to hold on to something. And you can hold on to something. And that is th these two items for $60. And all you got to do is just type in soul. Hardy Wrestling Buddies 60 in the comment section, and you can hold these close. They can be your emotional support uh, pillows. Those, that's a thing. I'm sure it is. It's, at least it is right now. I feel very calm right now. I've been very jacked up right now. This is about the time that the alpha brain and the fat burner, which is basically just a caffeine pill, kick in. So that's why you're getting 110% Jake Manning as opposed to the 50% you saw at the beginning of the stream. So right now, if you want to get and be 100% in on these particular items, all you need to do is put Soul Party Wrestling Buddies 60 in the comment section. They want to know if they can buy just one, like just one individual Hardy. I've already said they couldn't. They, they can, it is a set. This is where we're at right now. It's only a combo. This is where we're at tonight. Okay. We're having an issue with that. So we'll get that off the table there. Okay. You guys are you still on the are you guys still on the Funko? So I need to plug the Funkos one more time. Yeah, can I what do I need to do? Take can I, we show the promos again? Okay. Yeah, they, a lot about the promos. A lot about the promos. We'll come back and we will definitely do that. What we'll do with the promos right here. We're gonna start with the art print. If you're interested in this particular art print, just put sold art print 40 in the comment section. Just art print. And this is yours. And of course, if you want to personalize, then an extra $10. All personalizations are $10 just because we have a lot of items for Matt to sign. But if you want to pay that extra five ski for the personalizations, we'll make sure it happens. So that's why personalizations are a little bit more than normal, just because we have a lot of items that are being signed by Matt as we speak. One particular item that is being signed by him right now is this particular art piece, and you can buy it for $40 by putting art print 40 in the comment section and of course we have this wonderful twitter poster that was this is a thing that was on social media and batting around for a while but we blew it up we printed it off and put it on 11 by 17 and had jeff sign it and now matt signed it here tonight and you can get it here tonight by putting in twitter 60 in the comment section and of course we redid the shamburger made it better than it was before and that's why we were selling it for 80 dollars. all you gotta do is just put sham 80 in the comment section. We can even have it personalized for an extra $10. And of course, guys, you guys have been asking about the pictures and eight by tens. We're gonna get a closer look of it right here because this is the one you want. This one right here, this delete one, you want this one, I want this one, everybody wants this one. And the way you can get this one is by typing in delete 20 in the comment section. And then of course, we got belts 20 and then Omega 40, and it is signed by Jeff and by Matt. And of course, all three can be personalized for an extra $10. But I need you to put belt, belts 20 or delete 20. And of course, sign in this nice blue paint pen right here. And put in protective sleeves, it comes with a COA. Good. Great. 
And once again, still, still, still selling. Just put sold Hardy Funko 100 in the comment section, and it can be yours. And you get free shipping throughout the rest of the show. So, another signed figure is I have a Jeff Hardy Retro Mattel for $40. That's right, you can get this Jeff Hardy signed Retro Mattel for $40. Just put sold Jeff Hardy Retro Mattel 40 in the comment section. This is where we start making that climb back up, guys. We're starting to make that climb back up. We got that middle right there. We had those $10 arms, those $15 arms, but now we're working our way back up. We're working our way back up with this $40 retro Mattel figure signed by Jeff. Signed by Jeff this past Tuesday. So signed right there. There's Jeff's signature right there. Wonderful retro Mattel figure signed by Jeff Hardy. And if you want, all you got to do is just put sold Retro Mattel 40 in the comment section. Stephen Matthew was the first one. Thank you, Stephen. Another Hardy Funko. Another Hardy Funko. I appreciate uh, it. You know what I tell you? I love every one of you guys that are buying Hardy Funkos. But who's the next person to get this Retro Mattel for 40? Uh, Edmondo Alvarado. Edmondo Alvarado. Wrong. That was wrong. That was wrong. That was wrong. That was wrong. Go. Cool. Cool. Who's, who's the next person to pick up this Jeff Hardy Retro Mattel for $40? We're going to let it catch up for a second. We're going to let it catch up. For a little, there's a little bit of a lag. We're breaking the internet right now. How many people we got watching right here, right now? 307. 307. We're getting right there at 300. This is an all Hardy show. This is, this is one of the few people that we could like do an all show with like maybe rick flair maybe somebody we could do this with but, but we don't want him in this office he's not allowed in this office and he got to fight me if he wants to come back in this office so but you know there ain't be, there's not no boot beef between me or any of the hardy boys whatsoever especially because of the matt fact that matt is in the back signing furiously but we had jeff signing furiously on tuesday and one of the things he signed was this retro mattel which i'm selling here tonight for 40 Dollar just put sold Jeff Retro Mattel 40 in the comment section. It is dying off, but we, we're already we are way over on everything right now. I've destroyed the table. This is this is gonna be embarrassing when Matt comes back out here again. But uh, hopefully there's nothing embarrassing on these DVDs. These are Hardy Show DVDs. Uh, these were done by Matt a long time ago. This is a Hardy Show three pack, it is three DVDs, and we're selling this one for $60. This is a hard, hard six, okay? This is Hardy Show DVDs. I, I picked out three of them that, that we had the most of, and I'm just putting it together, and it's Hardy Show three-pack, $60, okay? And it's a hard six. These are the only ones we have left. Of course, this is the bonus one. That's all the bonus and the extras from the Hardy Show. Hardy Show season, season seven and season five. That's what you're going to get. Five, seven, and the extras. You're going to get these three DVDs, for $60 by typing in sold Hardy Show 3 pack 60 in the comment section. We have one with J.O.D. J.O.D. Where you at, Brandon Mula? You don't miss out on a DVD deal, and this is a, definitely a DVD deal right here. Who's the next person to get this Hardy Show 3 pack for $60? Just put sold Hardy Show 3 pack. 60 in the comment section. Like I said, you get the bonus, you get season seven, and you get season five. Right here. Three DVDs, sixty dollars. Give it I'm gonna get I'm gonna give it a little bit of time, give everybody more than enough time to catch up. Because like I said, we're about to make that steep climb back up in price now, guys. We had that four we had a forty dollar item, now we get the sixty dollar item right here, this Hardy Show three pack for sixty dollars. We're starting to make that sharp climb up, guys. Want to make sure that everybody's ready for this mountain we're about ready to climb in price. Like I said, I only have five remaining Hardy Show three packs available. Get that lag, get everybody ready, get your wallets ready. If you haven't jumped in on that free shipping, I'm going to give you some opportunities to do so here in just a little bit. Okay, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. We gave it more than enough time. Get ready, guys. Get the Hardy Funko for $100. If you, enough of you guys haven't typed the word sold, Hardy 
Funko 100 in the comment section. Get ready to type. Autograph, Jeff Hardy, TNA Bats, $100. That is right. You guys went crazy for the bats on Memorial Day. Well, now we got them signed by the man himself, and you can pick them up for $100 here today by typing in sold, signed, Jeff Hardy, TNA Bats, 100 in the comment section. Can, uh, people are trying to buy the red pants already. Someone has made a... Uh, it's one guy. Dave, they're an auction later. Dave, they're an auction later. Dave, let you know, you can't... All these items behind me, we're going to auction them off later when Matt's out here. Because Matt's got to tell the story, okay? But right now, I'm trying to tell you a story of all these Jeff Hardy bats that are signed. And the way that that story ends is by you typing the words, Sold, Signed Jeff Hardy Bats. 100 in the comment section. Bat. Matt Moore. Matt Moore. Thank you, Matt Moore. We're going to let it catch up. We're going to let it catch up. A lot of you guys jumped all over just the bat themselves, but now you can get it signed by the man himself for $100. Right there, free shipping. You get this right here. If you haven't already jumped on the Funko. But see, the thing is, if you've already got the Funko, you're already getting the free shipping right here. Go ahead and you don't have to worry about the cost whatsoever. You can get you can get the Funko and the bat right here. Right here. Here's your opportunity to get free shipping for the rest of the show. Just put sold, signed, Jeff Hardy bat, 100 in the comment section. Let's get a closer look of the autograph right here. Maybe that'll help us out. There, of course, right there. Jeff signed it. We got Dave Lerman. Dave Lerman. Michael Davies. Michael Davies. Now they're coming in. Unique guy, of course, it is a Louisville Slugger bat. Licensed through them. Jeff Hardy, signature right there. Will come with a certificate of authenticity. The graphics guy is working on it as we speak. Just type sold. Signed Jeff Bat. 100 in the comment section. Just put sold. Jeff Hardy, TNA Bat. 100 in the comment section. Like I said, we, we were selling them really good unsigned, but now we have them signed by Jeff himself for $100. Give it a second for a little bit of lag. They've been coming in. Good. Get everybody comfortable with where we're at right now because we're about ready to make that climb. We're about ready to make that climb onward and upwards. And this was an item that wasn't even on the table yet because Matt's in the back signing away furiously. Guys, get ready. If you love those Funkos, you're going to love these. These are Hardy Boys Ringside Collectible 2-Pack, $110. Bats are starting to come in. Hmm? Bats are starting to come in. Bats are starting, okay, bats are starting to come in right there. Thank you for everybody who picked up a bat for $100. But right now, I have the Ringside Collectibles 2-Pack for $110. I didn't have this on the table yet. That's how fast Matt is signing back there. We just keep getting items and we're putting them on the table. And right now what I have on the table right here is beautiful signed ringside collectibles. All I gotta do is put sold ringside collectibles, two pack, 110 in the comment section. Of course, the one thing about these ringside collectible figures, they got the nice belts right there on the top. Just beautiful detail on the belts. And of course, just look at the signature. Beautiful yellow paint pen signed by Jeff this past Tuesday, signed by Matt a few minutes ago. We've got James Hebb. James Hebb, thank you so much for being the first person on this Hardy Boys Ringside Collectibles 2-pack for $110. Nicholas Joseph. Nicholas Joseph. Mike Smith. Mike Smith. Uh, Andrew Kella. Of course, Andrew Kella. Uh, Dan Sky. Dan Sky. Dan Sky, you got all the elite figures. Now you got this elite collection, ringside collectibles figure. Uh, Mike Kovacs. Mike Kovacs, all the way in Canada, buddy. Jack Marconosis. Jack. Jack. Thank you so much, Jack. I appreciate that, Jack. Uh, you know Jack. Jack, I appreciate it, Jack. You, We will jack this figure up and put it in a box for you, Jack. Thank you so much. And Sam Ward. Sam Ward. That's right. And guys, you can, you can be one of the names I'm going to shout out here right now by just simply typing in Sold Hardy's Ringside Collectibles 2-Pack, $110 in the comment section. 
like I said, these ringside collectible figures, just the detail on them are just absolutely incredible. And of course, the fact that it's autographed as well, and it will come with a certificate of authenticity. Beautiful deeds, especially on the belts. Just type in the words, sold. Hardy ringside collectibles, two pack, $110 in the comment section, and it can be yours here tonight. Of course, the older version of the Hardy's Attitude Era, right there. Okay, like I said, if you're a fan of definitely the old school Hardy's, this is this is the item for you. All you got to do is just type in "sold Hardy's Ringside Collectibles Two Pack," one hundred and ten dollars in the comment section, and this is yours. And this is how you can celebrate the early part of their career. But if you're a big fan of the latter part of the career, then I highly recommend that you pick up. Is Hardy Boys Battle Pack for $100. Just put sold Hardy Boys Battle Pack 100 in the comment section. Signed by Jeff and Matt, of course. And of course, we kind of reversed it on this one uh, as compared to the Funko. This time, Jeff signed it in purple, Matt signed it in green right here. And of course, we have the Woken version and the recent version of Jeff right here. Just type in the words sold. Hardy's Battle Pack 100 in the comment section. Get the Andrews in this version right here. I know we're running a bit of lag. I'll give it more than enough time. I might have took the ringside exclusive off a little too soon because that's where they're coming in right now. People are buying the ringside collectibles version. I just I don't want to spend too much time. I, you know what? I'll, I'll I'll cycle back before I get a hot starts. I will cycle back through some of our better sellers. Don't you worry. I'll cycle back through that. But right now, I have the WWE Battle Pack on the table for one hundred dollars. Dan you Sky. Ask people to say Battle Pack because yes. had the two two packs in a row. That's a little confusing. Yes, absolutely. And please be clear on the ringside collectibles. Or the Battle Pack. As you see, Battle Pack. If you're interested in this one, I need you to put the words Battle Pack. I need you to put Sold Battle Pack 100 for this one. Okay? That is the difference. If you want this particular version. The other one, make it clear, Ringside Collectibles. This one is 110. This one, right? I need you to clarify. You just can't put two pack. We don't know what you're talking about. I need you to put Sold. Ringside Collectibles, 110 for this version. Or we put Sold Hardy's Battle Pack, 100. Dan Sky. Dan Sky. Dan Sky, you're cleaning up on Hardy figures tonight. Jason Chayu. Jason Chayu. And now they're debating between these packs now. They're, 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 yeah. they're, they're actively debating it. We, we're uh, seeing what's going on in their minds right now. Uh, all of a sudden, Facebook has turned into talk space. All of a sudden, everybody's discussing things inside their brains, and it's turned into a chat room that way. So, as a reminder, if you want this particular version, I need you to type the words "sold Hardy's Battle Pack 100" in the comment section. Of course, this is the newer version. It's got the Woken version of Matt Hardy right here. But then, of course, as I said, we have the Ringside Collectibles one with the early version right here. This one I need to put sold. Hardy's ringside collectible 110. 110, okay? That's how we can differentiate between the two. Okay, like I said, this one right here, you need to put sold. Ringside collectibles 110. Michael Davies. Michael Davies. Battle pack or ringside collectible? Battle pack. Battle pack. Like I said, battle pack right here. Signed, purple pen. This one is one hundred dollars. You guys debate on this right now because the next item I I've got a hard amount, very very limited amount. I was hoping to have it on the table to start the show, but we didn't have it signed just quite yet. But we just got it signed. It's sitting on the table. And I'm waiting to bring it out here, but I want to make sure that I give you more than enough time to pick up this Hardee's. Battle Pack for 100 by typing in the words sold Hardy's Battle Pack 100 or Hardy's Ringside Collectibles 110. Both signed, both will come with COAs. 
And of course, also signed, Hardy's Funkos. All you gotta do is put sold Hardy Funko 100 in the comment section. Any one of these two packs right here, you're gonna get free shipping the rest of the night. Free sh shipping will not be a concern just off these three items, okay? That's all you need to do is just get one of those three items. And a lot of you guys have already got the Funkos, so if you picked up the ringside collectibles for $110, you're getting free shipping right away. Just by buying it, even if you got the Funko or not, getting free shipping. You pick up the Battle Pack for 100 free shipping right off the bat. Easy. Just by typing in sold Hardy's Battle Pack 100 in the comment section. All right. Get ready. I said we started high, we worked our way down, and we're going to work our way back up. This is the most expensive item we've probably had in a hot starts. But that's because we only have 13 of them. 13 of these. Hard 13. Tommy, keep me honest. Michael Elliott, keep me honest. Invoice people, are we ready to do this? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Confidence. That's what I like to hear. Strong confidence. We're ready, Jake. Well, that's what I like to hear. That's the strong confidence I was looking for because I have Hardy Boys turnbuckle pads to hundred dollars signed by Matt and Jeff with these beautiful custom-made turnbuckle pads only 13 of them in existence and I'm selling them for two hundred dollars two zero zero I need you to put in the comment section sold Hardy's turnbuckle pad 200 in the comment section signed by Matt and Jeff both in beautiful paint pen and we got it right this time. <laughs> so let's get a closer look of how wonderful those autographs look right there. Matt signed right here. Jeff signed right here. Beautiful signature. Beautiful logo. Custom got, made logo. Who are the first person to get on? Yeah, we got Robert Duvallis. Robert Duvallis. Dan Sky. Dan Sky. Who's the next person to get this Hardy Boys turnbuckle pad for $200? Next person. We have 11 remaining. Hardy Boys. Davis Michael. Davis Michael. 10 remaining in existence. Only 10 remaining. Hardy Boys turnbuckle pads for $200. I'm sure the lag is a bit of an issue right now. I should be announcing Andrew Keller's name. I should be saying Andrew Keller's name anytime soon. Mark Nielsen, where are you at? You're the turnbuckle guy. I'm calling you Robert Duvallis. Where are you at? Robert. He was, first. he was the first one. He okay, said. well, I'm calling you out again to pick up a second one, Robert Duvallis. If you want to be the turnbuckle guy, you get two of them. <laughs> uh, Brian Perez. Brian Perez. Four right there. We got nine. Nine remaining. Hardy where Boys. Mark yeah, where is Mark Nielsen? Or Justin Shelton. Or Justin Shelton. Where are you at, Justin Shelton? I have Hardy Boys turnbuckle pad. Two hundred. Dollars. Ooh, not interested. Mark Nielsen. <laughs> Mark Nielsen, not interested. Oh, I'm sorry, it doesn't say NWA on it, Mark Nielsen. <laughs> maybe, maybe you, would you would you like me to write NWA right across here, Mark Nielsen? I have a feeling I'm going to apologize to Mark Nielsen on next week's virtual giving table. I'm just let you know. Me and Elizabeth are going to talk about you, Mark Nielsen. So let me go ahead and say, I'm sorry, Mark Nielsen. <laughs> Anyways, who's the next person? Who I got nine remaining. Nine remaining. Hardy Boys turnbuckle pads for two hundred dollars nine of them still available i've only sold four i've only sold four i'm gonna let this lag i'm gonna, I'm gonna assume there's this lag because there there's only four spoken for there's only 13 in existence you do the math there's only nine nine hardy boys turnbuckle pads we special made this graphic put it on a turnbuckle pad right here two hundred dollars Okay, I'll tell you what, guys, keep track. Keep track of what we have. If it comes in in the next couple minutes, I'm going to plug this throughout the show. Okay, we're going to, we need to move on because I'm already far late because putting on that spandex shirt took way longer than I expected. Um, we're going to come back to all of this in a little bit. We're going to plug this throughout the show. You guys keep it track. If it comes in, keep your eyes, Tommy, keep a close eye on this. We're going to come back and we're going to call this out. This will be available throughout the show for $200 just by putting sold Hardy Boys Turnbuckle Pad 
$200 in the comment section. Okay? That's where we're at. But as a reminder, guys, we still, like I said, there might be a sticker shock right on that turnbuckle pad. I know that's a little bit jarring. It's a little bit jarring. A lot of these items, but we, we got two autographs on a lot of these items, and a lot of these are very rare figures that you can't get anywhere else. So, like I said, that's why we started high, went down, and came back up. And as a reminder, guys, if you're like, hey, I'm a fan of the Hardy Boys, but I only got like 20 bucks, well, guess what? You can get this wonderful signed 8x10 by Matt by putting the, the words delete 20 in the comment section. That's all you need to do is put delete 20 in the comment section. You get this one right here. And then if you're interested in this one, all you got to do is just put belt 20 in the comment section for this one and of course omega 40 signed by jeff and matt right there just put omega 40 of course all of these can be personalized for an extra ten dollars and of course we have this wonderful poster that was available on social media this is an 11 by 17 poster signed by matt and jeff just put in Twitter 60 for this particular piece. And of course we have this Matt Har broken Matt Hardy art piece by putting an art print 40, of course signed by Matt down here below. And this can be personalized as well for an extra $10. As a reminder, once again, guys, we got the Shamburger for $80. And like I said, we've had it before, but the, the Autographs were not good looking, but we made a point to make sure they looked even better than they did before. And if you're interested in this one, just put Sham80 in the comment section. All right. I've buried my piece of paper. I don't know. That was, that was something that was just supposed to stay in my brain. That was actually just something that was just supposed to stay in my brain. And I said it aloud. You know, sometimes, sometimes TV is tough. Wait a minute. This isn't TV. This is Facebook Live. Deal with the unprofessionalism. But what you need to deal with now is promo time. It is promo time. It is promo time. And guys, like I said, we just ran over the promos as you can get with, with Matt right now. The personalizations are coming. Get those personalizations in quickly because, like I said, Matt is back there signing as much as possible. And also, too, when the auctions come up, that's the end of personalizations. Get those personalizations in early because as soon as we're done with the auction, we send Matt back there, do the personalization. Then he gets in his really nice car and drives back home to his wonderful, beautiful wife and family. So let's get into promo time as fast as possible, and we're going to get into – with some Hardy adjacent promos. And we're gonna start it off with a Shannon Moore. If you're interested in the Shannon Moore promo for $10, just put the words sold. Shannon Moore promo 10 in the comment section. Just 10 bucks. Autograph picture for Shannon Moore. Of course, this is during his Prince of Punk era. Shannon Moore. Just put the words sold. Shannon Moore promo 10. In the comment section. Miles Kane. Miles Kane. Miles Kane probably already over the hundred dollar free shipping threshold of one hundred dollars. He did it one piece at a time. Who else is gonna do it one piece at a time and pick up ten dollars? Hey, if you've already got the, the the Funko, you can get this Shannon Moore signed picture for ten bucks and you're getting the free shipping already. Let's add some stuff in there. Jonathan Michael. Jonathan Michael, thank you so much, Jonathan. Who else is coming in for the signed Shannon Moore picture? Like I said, we got some Hardy adjacent promos. It is still Hardy related. We are still in the middle of the Hardy show. And that's for Shannon Moore, a good friend of the Hardys from childhood. Joel and Kylo. Joel and Kylo, thank you so much for picking up his Shannon Moore autograph picture for $10. All right, we're got, we're got right there. We're going to keep it going. Let's get through promo time as quickly as possible. Let's get into another Hardy adjacent promo. Gregory Helms promo, $10 as well. Just type in sold. Gregory Helms, 10 in the comment section. You get the signed picture by Gregory Helms, Shannon Hel Hurricane Helms, Shane Helms, whatever you want to call it. But right here, it says Gregory Helms right here. So we're going to distinguish it that way. You can get this Gregory Helms signed promo for ten dollars by typing the words sold gregory helms 10 in the comment section 
Miles Kane. Miles Kane. Miles Kane, no issue, no buffering, no lag with you. Picking up all the $10 items here tonight. Andrew Wallace. Thank you so much, Andrew. Who is the next person to pick up this signed Gregory Helms promo by typing in the words sold Gregory Helms 10 in the comment section? Joel and Kylo. Joel and Kylo. And Gregory Weston. Gregory Weston. Hey, Gregory, you are going to have a Gregory Helms on your wall. And a Hardy's Funko. And a Hardy's Funko. Well, of course. We will come back to that for sure. Uh, okay. Uh, next, moving on in promo time, we have. Of course, you remember the classic TLC matches, uh, but what we have right here is a Christian uh, promo. Of course, Edge and the tag team belts are in there, but it's only signed by Christian. So what I need you to do is put sold Christian with Edge and the belts 15 in the comment section. That's what I need you to put if you're interested in this signed Christian and only Christian picture is by typing the words sold Christian with Edge and the belts 15 in the comment section sections get a closer look of this like i said it's got the the classic tag belts that were all remember from the attitude era and the 80s right there and the 90s if you're interested in this particular one i need you to type the words sold christian with edge and the belts 15 in the comment section like i said only signed by christian himself of course it comes with a coa right there you can see him signing the picture this was signed in maryland at an MCW event at Maryland Championship Wrestling, at one of their Legends conventions. And of course, signed just by Christian right there. And if you want, all you gotta do is type the words Soul Christian with Edge and the tag belt 15 in the comment section. Jim Renson. Jim Renson. C. Joe MC. C. Joe, get this. Christian signed promo. Corey Tunstall. Corey Tunstall. Chris McCullough. Chris McCullough. Uh, Chuck Dacier. Chuck, Chuck Dacier. And Luke Vandermark. Luke Vandermark, Mark, Luke Vandermark, you're a mark for Christian. And this picture with Christian with Edge in the belts for $15. And Brian Kanabrowski has joined the viewing. Brian Kanabrowski has joined the viewing feed. He knows the auctions are coming soon, they, but we still are about halfway through promo time. Promo time is a little bit shorter than normal tonight, uh, but we're about ready to tr transition back into Hardy mode. Right now, we're Hardy adjacent right now. This is your last opportunity to get a Hardy adjacent promo, and that is Christian with Edge and the tag belts for $15. Just type in the words, sold Christian with Edge and the tag belts, 15 in the comment section. Any other takers or should we move right Sean on? Faulkner. Sean Faulkner. Thank you so much, Sean. Okay. I'm sure the lag is, is coming along and any of those any of those orders coming in for the Gregory Helms or the Shannon Moores as a reminder, we have Gregory Helms available for ten dollars just by typing in Gregory Helms sold. Gregory Helms 10 in the comment section or sold Shannon Moore 10 in the comment section. Okay, that is the end of the Hardy adjacent section of promo time. We're back into hard Hardy time with a signed Jeff Hardy face paint yellow. Like I said, a lot of things are determined upon the Jeff's face paint. That is how we're di distinguishing a lot of items on here. And what I have for you guys is a Jeff Hardy face paint yellow $20. Like I said, signed by Jeff himself. Signed this past Tuesday. If you're interested in this particular 8x10 by Jeff, I need you to type the words sold. Jeff Hardy face paint yellow 20 in the comment section. We're signed right there by Jeff. There's a signature right there. You've seen a lot of it here tonight. Right now you can get a nice 8x10. You've already got a figure. If you already got the Funko, if you got the turnbuckle pad, whatever, whatever you already got, here's your opportunity to get an autograph from Jeff for $20. Like I said, I've had a lot of $100 items, I've had a lot of $200 items, I've had a lot of $60 items, but here's an opportunity to get a Jeff Hardy autograph for $20 by typing in the words, sold, Jeff Hardy face paint yellow, 20 in the comment section. Dan Sky. Dan Sky, you're all over it. Stephen Brewer. Stephen Brewer. 
Mike Smith. Mike Smith. Jesse Coffey. Jesse Coffey. Cody Nichols. Cody Nichols. And Brian Hetvetter. Brian Hetvetter. Not to be confused with Eddie Vetter. As if those sound like cousins. Um, <laughs> anybody else? Like, and Joel and Kylo. Joel and Kylo. Who, who else we got interested? Like I said, I've thrown a lot of big, high-priced stuff. I've thrown you a lot of autograph stuff by Jeff for $60, $40, $100. But right now, here's your opportunity to get a Jeff Hardy autograph for $20. Just by typing in the words, sold, Jeff Hardy face paint, yellow, 20 in the comment section. Ricky R. Ricky R. Paul and Tilly. Paul and Tilly. Like I said, this will be the, the cheapest opportunity to get a Jeff Hardy autograph here tonight. So, like I said, I wanted, I didn't want to blow blow things out of the water. I didn't want to intimidate you guys with high dollar items. I want to make sure that you had a fair opportunity to pick up something autographed by Jeff Hardy himself for a reasonable price of $20. If you're interested in this particular print, just type the words Jeff Hardy face paint yellow 20. But make sure you put the words sold Jeff Hardy face paint yellow 20 in the comment section. Fred Carpenter. Fred Carpenter. Kevin Byrne. Kevin Byrne. All right, guys. I have another signed Jeff Hardy. Uh, this one is, I'm calling gray background. This is without the face paint. So if you're like, hey, I think Jeff's got a good-looking face. I don't know why he puts all that paint on there. Um, I'd much rather see it in a gray background. All you got to do is just type the words, sold, Jeff Hardy, gray background, 20 in the comment section and this autograph can be yours as well so here's your second opportunity to get a jeff hardy autograph for 20 dollars if you're not a fan of the face paint well here you can be a fan of the spandex shirt i heard chelsea who does the personalization just went mm, as in mm, that looks tasty um but uh you can't you can't necessarily eat these promos but you can hang them on your wall uh, you can buy them for $20 by typing the words sold Jeff Hardy gray background 20 and then put it up on your wall and then go mm, just like Chelsea did right there <laughs> as we all clearly heard and let's not pretend like we didn't and that's what happens when you have a comedian doing this I have sensitive ears and I have to say something when something happens but what's happening right now is I have these Jeff Hardy signed 8x10s on the virtual gimmick table right now for twenty dollars all you need to do is type the words sold jeff hardy gray background 20 in the comment section mm, this is a good deal do you have matt moore matt moore <laughs> oh god uh jim Rensick. jim Rensick. uh gary weston gary weston uh and fred carpenter and another request for you to put on the zip up shirt. All right, we got the zip up shirt. We'll put it up here. Maybe I'll get some mmms when I put this shirt on. No. Did I do that right? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways. You gotta take the t shirt off to put that on. No, I gotta keep the t shirt on. I don't want. Wow. Listen, I, I don't wanna I don't wanna intimidate anybody, all right? So, I mean, we're gonna have Matt out here in a little bit. So, anyways. As I said before, if you guys are interested in this Jeff Hardy signed promo with gray background that made tra the Chelsea go, mm, all of a sudden, uh, you can get it for $20. And this shirt, zip up spandex shirt, which is a small, this is a small and I'm wearing it. Uh, you can get this Jeff Hardy zip up spandex shirt for $25. Uh, it makes your, makes your hand. Make sure we get this right. There we go. It makes you go like this for whatever reason. I don't know why. Because your hands just get stuck like this. This is what happens. Uh, but right now, it's still promo time. We're still selling Jeff Hardy gray background signed 8x10s for $20 just by typing the words sold Jeff Hardy gray background 20. Like I said, this is the cheapest Jeff Hardy autograph you're going to get here tonight. Like I said, you've seen a lot of sticker shock, but here's your opportunity to pick up a Jeff Hardy for $20. Who, who else we got Tommy on this? Hey, uh, speaking of sticker shock, yeah. I, I, sorry, sorry to butt into your show. Okay, so quite okay. 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 But but I'm out there reading the comments too with Matt, and, yeah. and, and listen, sometimes I 
we very rarely make mistakes. Okay. But we may have gone, we may have shot too far for this. Okay. Okay. So what I'd like to do, if you don't mind. Okay. I think we had a few people buying this already. Yeah. I'd, I'd we, like had to not, we had four. So we, this was $200? $200. What were you thinking? What was I thinking? What were you thinking? What was I was thinking? You was you? No, it was you. No, I jacked up. Who's you? I know the wrestling buddies is my fault. The wrestling buddies is my fault. And me looking this awesome, also my fault. Uh, right. I, should, I should. I probably should have walked in while you looked like this. Yeah, no, you but, shouldn't have. But listen, I, I want to do. I want to make it right. I read some comments. People okay. weren't super excited. Okay. Because I'm such a good guy. I mean, this guy overpriced. Him. But for for those of you who bought this, okay, I'd like to knock it down to 150. Okay. So Over 150. 150. And if anybody else wants it at 150, we have nine left. We have nine left. We have nine left. So everybody, the four guys that uh, Jake, don't overprice these things again. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Michael. I'm just trying to make the Thursday show a little bit better than the Saturday show, but it's tough when he's poaching my items. Anyways, like I said, the four guys that uh, or ladies, gentlemen, people who have bought this already, you're getting this for 150. And anybody else that wants this going forward. 150 as well. We shot it. We over, we over, we over we overpriced it. I'm Daniel, sorry. Daniel Blotchke. Daniel Blotchke. Corey Vallow. Uh, Jeremy Smith. Jerry Smith. Tyree Davis. Tyree Davis. Uh, Matt Sophie. Matt Sophie. And that puts us at nine. Uh, Lane Thompson. Lane Thompson. Christopher Morelli. Christopher Morelli. Two more remaining. David Linkus. David Linkus. And Mitchell Smith. Mitchell Smith. Boom. All I need to do is just move in 50 bucks. The 14th Fifth. person with Andrew Kella. Andrew Kella. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Kella. You got in at 14th. This is what I... You should have got this at 200. You should have got this at 200. I told you sooner you should have got it. The people, I appreciate the people that jumped on it for four. You, you really, 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 really wanted it. Uh, we apologize to everybody that felt it was a little too high. And, you know, we don't just apologize. We, we correct our mistakes here at highspots.com, and we corrected the mistakes, and we sold this out for 150 Congratulations to everybody got it. Andrew Kella, sorry to you. Anyways, not sorry for the rest of you. Uh, we, we, what we got here? We, just to clarify, we're going to change the price to yeah, and just to clarify, we're going to change the prices. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. Elizabeth is on it. She's going to take care of it. This is 150. 150. The people that said 200, don't worry, you're getting it for 150. And I shouldn't hit it so hard because it's a $150 item. But I get, I'm very excited about this. I'm very, very excited, and you guys can tell because you can see my nipples. Um, but you guys better get excited about the next promo on promo time because we have. Uh, Jeff Hardy early art promo signed by Jeff and Matt, and we're selling this for forty dollars. Let me let's get a let's get a closer look at this. This is a beautiful graphic art piece that is actually done, if I'm not mistaken, by uh, Carolina Rudd. Uh, Caroline Rudd, excuse me, Caroline Rudd. She also did my shirt. She also did Elizabeth's shirts, which are available for twenty dollars. Uh, if you're interested in that, but Caroline Rudd, who does a lot of the mixing and has done a lot of really awesome graphic show graphics for the Sunday show, she does all the green screen stuff. She's an amazing graphic artist. She basically did this uh, graphic art piece right here, and we got it signed by Jeff and by Matt, and you can pick it up for forty dollars right here. That's right. You just type in the word "sold." Hardy Art Promo 40 in the comment section. Chris McCullough. Chris McCullough. Uh, Elmer Navarrete. Elmer. Elmer Navarrete. Navarrete. No, 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 it's not. It, I'm it, sorry. It, you got to get Elmer's name right, sir. Uh, Nicholas Dorito. Nicholas Dorito. Who is the next person that gets wonderful custom-made art piece by Caroline, a future, probably the red that I'm going to be working with the next 10 years. So you might as well get, get on the ground floor of her. And like I said, this is probably as cheap as you're going to get the two Hardy signatures right here. You can get Matt and Jeff, basically 20 a piece. This is as cheap as you're going to get a, an autograph Hardy thing right here. It's just type in the word sold, Hardy art promo, $40 in the comment section. Robert Dalavos. Robert. Uh, Robert. I don't know why I'm having a tough saying your name. Maybe because of the constrictive motion on my lungs right now because of the small shirt. Um, who else is going to jump on this Hardy Boys early art promo for $40? Dan Sky. Dan Sky. Dan Sky. I'm leaving it up here for a long time because this is a wonderful art piece. I want to make sure you guys get a good look at it. But I think it's about time for us 
to move away from promo time. But before we move away from promo time, I got to remind you guys, if you're interested in this particular picture with a great background that made Chelsea go, mm, all you got to do is just type the words sold. Jeff Hardy, gray background, 20. You can put mm at the end of it if you want. So we'll know what you're talking about. Or if you're interested in this one, just type sold. Jeff Hardy, face paint, yellow, 20 in the comment section. Like I said, got some affordable autographs right there. We knocked those turnbuckle pads down. We made that right. We corrected that. But what we've always been correct on are these wonderful 8x10s that are still available. They can be personalized for an extra $10, ladies and gentlemen. But you can pick up this signed picture by Matt Hardy by typing in the words delete 20. In the comment section, just put delete 20. If you're interested in this one, just put belts 20 or Omega 40 signed by Jeff and by Matt and of course we have the Shamburger which we redid made it better than it was before just put sham 80 in the comment section and of course these have these wonderful 11 by 17s available this wonderful beautiful art piece that we had made specifically for the show here tonight much like we do for all of our other shows but this one will be signed by matt right here tonight you can get it personalized for an extra ten dollars but you can pick up this art piece by typing in the words art print 40 in the comment section and then of course we got this picture that was uh, on social media and we got jeff and matt to both sign it and you can get this for sixty dollars by putting twitter 60 in the comment section it comes with seal and they will come with COAs. Okay, uh, poster time. We're going to get through poster time pretty quickly. We are, we've are we been running a little bit high. We're having a lot of fun. We're having a lot of fun, and, and it seems like Matt's got a lot of his stuff signed. We're going to get through poster time really fast. And as always with poster time, we'll sell about three, four, five. We'll move on. We'll move as brisk as we should or, or should have been through most things. We're busy selling Funkos. We might have hit the rock bottom on the Funkos. But just as a reminder, sold Hardy Funko 100 and that's you get it, you get free shipping the rest of the night. Okay, what I have for you guys right now is I have a signed Jeff Hardy TNA poster for $50. Just put in the comment section, sold Jeff TNA poster 50 in the comment section. Of course, this is signed by Jeff. It was signed by him this Tuesday. Let's get a closer look of the autograph right here, signed in blue right here by Jeff. And of course, we'll come with a certificate of authenticity all you got to do is just type the word sold Jeff TNA poster 50 in the comment section. And this can be yours. I'm going to zoom out so you can see the poster and the autograph a little bit better. Of course, this is a TNA poster. And this is a TNA, not impact, right there. Just type the word sold Jeff TNA poster in the comment section. Robert Delvos. Robert Devils. Junior Martin. Junior Martin. What's going on, Mini Muda? You like what you see? Uh, <laughs> I was talking about myself, not the poster. Who's the next person that can pick up this Jeff TNA poster? Anybody? Any takers? That's good. All right. Did you get Junior Martin? We got Junior Martin. I said Junior Martin. Mini Muda. It's quite okay. He's barely listening. Um, but. Uh, I did sell another Funko. We yeah. sell another Funko. Did we sell another zip-up spandex shirt by me wearing it? Uh, no. Okay. No, that's, that's a big no. I didn't even get a mm this time. Uh, but uh, we were still selling the Jeff TNA uh, signed poster for 50 but we actually have some artwork, some, some prints of Jeff's artwork, and we got Jeff to sign them. And what I'm selling here tonight is Jeff yellow artwork. I'm not exactly sure on the name of this particular piece, uh, but I'm, we're just going to label it Jeff Yellow Artwork. It's signed by Jeff. It was signed by him uh, this past Tuesday, and we're selling this for $30. Just put the words sold Jeff Yellow Artwork 30 in the comment section. All right here. So we have. Let's get a closer look of the autograph right here. And, of course, the art piece. Just type the words sold Jeff Art piece 30 in the comment section. No movement whatsoever. Nicholas Dorito. Nicholas Dorito. Okay. 
Anybody else who wants this Jeff signed art piece? Signed by Jeff himself right here. There is the autograph. Uh, Raleigh Chris Perno. Raleigh, thank you so much. Matt Moore. Matt Moore, now they're rolling in. Jeff Yellow Artwork 30. Sold. Jeff Yellow Artwork 30 in the comment section. Chris Morell. Chris Morell. Okay, we're going to allow that to come in right now. We're going to keep this moving right along. I have some more artwork. Now, this is a two piece artwork right here. And I believe it, it goes like this. This is a two piece. It was only one piece is signed by Jeff. And what I need you to put in the comment section is sold. Jeff, two piece artwork, um, 40 in the comment section. Put the words sold. Jeff, two piece artwork, 40 in the comment section. Okay. It goes, I believe it goes like that, or unless I got it wrong. That's it. That's it. I got it right. And let me tell you, it's going to come in, in a, a protective sleeve. We're going to put both of them in a protective sleeve. That's how it'll be shipped to you. But uh, when we had Jeff here, he said it's really better if you put like a border around it. I have the wrong piece. Like if you have a border around it, you kind of put it together like that. Put a nice border around it. That's typically the best way. But let's get a closer look of the autograph. Matt Moore. Matt Moore. Lane Thompson. Lane Thompson. There it is. Just type in the words sold. Jeff, two piece artwork. Signed by Jeff this past Tuesday. It goes a little bit better when there's a little bit of space in between. So you put a nice border and then hang them up separately. It looks a little bit better, as you can see right there. Like there's just that little gap. That kind of seems like it fits a little bit better. But it is autographed. We'll put it in a protective sleeve and then you put a border around it. It'll look a little bit better. Okay. Gerald Krush. Gerald Krush. All right. This is, a, this is a, one of the bigger parts of poster time. Uh, hard 12 on this, and I think they're going to go rather fast. Uh, now, my, uh, I did fight for the turnbuckles to be rather high, but I fought for this one to be a little bit low, so you can thank me later when I put up this Jeff Hardy art poster for $80. I have a hard 12 on this one. And what's the name of the artist? Jaclee. Mike? Jaclee. This the is style, the style, not the art. The style. Jaclee style. Walk from shop zone. Bought from Shop Zone right here, signed by Jeff, right here. Is it Jacli Art Style? I have a hard 12. Just type in the words, sold. Jeff Hardy Art Poster 80 in the comment section. Of course, Certificate of Authenticity. Jose Nagara. Jose, thank you so much. Nagera. 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 Thank you so much, Jose Nagera. Kanabrowski. Brian Kanabrowski, thank you so much. That brings us to two. We have ten remaining. Jacli Art Style. Jeff Hardy Art Poster for eighty dollars. Set the word sold. Jeff Hardy Art Poster eighty in the comment section. J. Odie. J. Odie. Dan Sky. Dan Sky. Have eight remaining now. Sold four. We have eight remaining at this price. I, I clicked it off the website in anticipation that we're going to sell out here tonight. But if, we, if we're not, I'll put it back on the website and they're going to be gone tomorrow. But you guys can get it here tonight. I saved it specifically for you guys here at the virtual gimmick table. As soon as I click this live on the website, it's not going to make it to the weekend. I promise you that much. If you want this beautiful Jeff Hardy signed art poster for $80. And guys, I guarantee most of you have already got free shipping. Go ahead 
and jump on this right now. I know how much Tommy loves shipping a Funko and an art piece. He loves shipping that so much. Here's every, you've already got the free shipping. You can get that opportunity. You can get it here right now. And over the weekend, we're going to sell out of these off the website. But I brought it out here. I clicked it off the website just so you guys get an opportunity to pick up this beautiful Jeff Hardy art poster for $80. No takers. All right. Well, guess what? I'm going to click this on the live on the website, and this was your last opportunity to get it. But it might have been your last opportunity to get that, but here is your first time opportunity to get this 11 by 17 comic poster signed by the Young Bucks and the Hardys. We've been waiting for the Hardys to finish this piece. We had the Young Bucks sign this back in 2017. And we finally got around to getting the Hardy Boys to sign this beautiful comic art piece, this Hardy and Young Bucks signed comic poster. And we're selling this tonight for $125. That is four signatures right here. This took us several years to collect these autographs. And we are bringing it out here for the first time here tonight. Not even on our website right now. We're debuting it right here, right now. This Hardy Boys Young Bucks signed comic poster for $125. $5. Size. It is 11 by 17. I believe I said that three times, but I'm losing oxygen, and this, this shirt is much tighter than I anticipated. Dan Sky. Dan Sky. C. Joe MC. C. Joe, get this comic sign poster right here. Letting it catch up. Letting it catch up. I know there's a bit of a lag right now. No worries. I feel like a superhero. Spandex does that to me. My old college track uniform made me feel like a superhero because it's all spandex. So that's why I can't get rid of the singlet. Makes me feel important. Nicholas I, Michael. Nicholas Michael. Also, too, it covers up the little bit of gut that I have, which is surprising. You know, when you see me with abs, no, nah, it's me sucking in real hard. But you better suck in real hard and dig deep into your wallet to get this signed Young Bucks Hardy Boys poster for $125. It took us years years to get all these signatures and we're bringing it out here for you guys here tonight it's making its debut not even on our website yet it is right here for you guys here fans of the virtual gimmick table p vince graf p vince graf thank chuck you so much Desheer, chuck to uh nicholas dorito nicholas dorito and matthew benton smith matthew benton smith well we're gonna we're gonna move on we have one auction piece Matt is, is patiently waiting. He's patiently waiting, but we have one auction item before we bring Matt out here so we can auction off the items behind us. Uh, some of you have been trying to uh, but go through an auction on some of these items. They are not up for auction yet. We will get to them when we get to them. But for right now, we have one auction piece. The other other items are going to come in. Like If you still want signed Hardy Funkos, just put sold Hardy Funkos 100 in the comment section. Of course, we have the Shamburger poster. For $80, just put Sham80 in the comment section. And of course, we've got the 11 by 17 Twitter poster signed by Jeff and Matt. Just put Twitter60 in the comment section. Of course, the art print of Matt. Just put art print 40 in the comment section. And then, of course, we've got Delete20 Belts. 20 Omega 40 and all of those items the personalizations are an extra ten dollars get those personalizations in right now auctions are starting as soon as the auctions auctions conclude that's gonna go back take care of those and then get in his car and drive home to his beautiful family so get yeah, those don't forget your merch. I won't forget my merch at all but it will wait to we'll plug it in between so but I want to get to these auctions as fast as possible and we're gonna start with actually a wonderful piece this is we brought one of these out on the first auctions and we didn't know a lot about it and it's 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 actually an art piece and the bids will start at five bucks and they're going to work their way up but let me tell you about this piece as the bids are coming in and keep track of them tommy and i'm going to check in with you in a little bit when i give the history of this particular art piece we got our hands on some of these these wonderful canvas pieces that were drawn they were painted by matt himself and we didn't know a lot about them we put them out on the first ever virtual gimmick table and we got a handsy, handsome you know, fee for him. And it was nice, nice little auction piece, but we didn't know a lot about him. So when we had Jeff in the office this Tuesday, we brought him in and we showed him like, hey, could you, you sign these? And we had him sign the back, uh, 2020, but he started looking at these and he started looking at them very melancholy. And he's like, 
because I haven't seen these in years, and they're actually from 2004, and the batch of paintings that uh, this is from, uh, he doesn't even have himself anymore. Like, these came from a, a, a time where he had a whole bunch of paintings, and he lost a lot of them in, in his house fire. So when he saw this, he goes, oh my gosh, I haven't seen this, this piece in years. And I remember painting it, and he was getting kind of emotional looking at it. And so we brought it out, and he had him sign it right here on the back in you know, 2020. And, of course, this one is called Devil God. Um, this was signed in, this was painted in September of 2004. It's original Jeff Hardy drawing. Let's go let's show the art piece on the back. All the information there, we got him to sign it right here on the back. Like I said, a lot of a lot of the paintings from the time he lost in his house fire. So he was, he was very happy to see these, and very very happy that they still exist and are in the world. And they can exist in your home uh, just by, you know, getting a bid in for the auctions right now. Where are we at on the bids right now, Tommy? No bids whatsoever. We're just a little bit of a lag right now. Like I said, bid started five, and you just work your way up. On this one, like I said, we are in the auction portion right now for this particular item. This art piece labeled Devil God. Of course, you see right here on the side, Devil God right there. Actually, put it right there. And of course, Shane Gleason, 25. Starting at 25, we're going to work our way up real fast. And that escalated very quickly. There Michael it is. There's James the lag. Hall, 110. We're up to 110 now. That's a bit more like it. We're running on a little bit of lag here tonight. We're gonna we're gonna compensate for that later on. As a reminder, guys, uh, as as people are starting to tune in and we're catching up right now, if you're interested in this piece and we're auctioning and we get to a point where we're auctioning back and forth between one or two or three people, when it gets to a point that you don't feel comfortable paying the certain price that we're set right now at the auction, let us know that you're out. Okay? Like if it gets to be uh, like, oh, I'm not going to go that, that amount. Just let us know that you're out. And then when there's no other people fighting for it, we'll put it on a 60-second clock, then a 30-second clock. Then we're going to do the 10 uh, basketball count and then give it to that particular person and give it a few more seconds. So what it, to move these auctions along a lot faster because we have a lot of Matt pieces we need to get to. And Matt is pa patiently waiting. What I need you to do when we're going back and forth, let us know if you're in or are you out. Where are we at in on the bids? Gerald Crush and Dan Ark are tied at 150 apiece. Okay, who came in first at 150 though? Uh, it seems to be yeah. We've actually got a 160 now. We have yeah. a 160 now, so it doesn't even matter who's got 160. Carrie Cowling. Carrie Cowling, very good. Hey, Carrie, welcome back. I appreciate the Uber Eats uh, gift card. That has been very good on Jake Manning date night with myself. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> Gerald Crush at 175. Gerald Crush 175. Andy Cook at 180. Andy Cook 180. Like I said, when it gets to a point, let us know that you're out, okay? Uh, but if you are in, you got to do something better than 180, okay? Gerald Crush, 200. Gerald Crush, 200. That's it. That's a bit more appropriate. As well as David Lankus, who also bid 200. Derek, Jared, you got to go above 200 now. Somebody's already got the 200. You got to go above it now. You got to do 210. Or go 250. Let's go. Let's go, go big or go home. These are still sitting at 200 right now. Guys, let us know if you're in or you're out. The way you let us know that you're in is do better than 200. Hundred dollars, do better than Jared, who I believe is sitting at two hundred. If I'm not Jared, saying. yes. Jared is at two hundred. Gerard. Gerard. There's a Jared. Oh, Gerard, it, it, Gerard is at two hundred. That one, yeah. Okay, G Gerard. He is our uh, Netherlands guy, if I'm not mistaken, right? Gerard. Thank you, Elizabeth. Full of information. Uh, Carrie's out. Carrie's out. Dan's out. Dan's out. Uh, and Gerard Buddingberg is at 210. 210. Gerard Buddingberg. Andy Cook also bid 210, but then David Lankus bid 215, only for Gerald Crush to bid 225. Gerald Crush is 225. There we go. Now we're moving along. And all you guys that got beat out, let us know if you're in or you're out. Wait, let us know if you're in. You got to do better than 225. David Link is a 250. David Link is 250. Let me give you a wide shot of this particular piece. Maybe you'll see it sell right now. We're at 250 right now. This beautiful art piece. Of course, recently signed by Jeff right here on the back. We had him sign it this past Tuesday. This art piece is from September 2004. And like I said, Jeff hasn't seen this art piece in so long. And a lot of the art pieces from this time got burned up as a house fire. This is a very, very rare piece 
autographed by Jeff himself. Gerard Cush at 275. Gerard Cush, 275. Uh, Buddenberg's out. Buddenberg is out. Thank you guys. You're following the rules perfectly. Guys, we're gonna get through all of these items. Lickety split. I appreciate that so much by following the rules. Uh, he just topped himself at 300. He pulled a Brian. He outbid himself. Okay. Uh, you don't need to outbid yourself. Yes, he does. Huh? Yeah. He, he's if he's bidding 300. He's still in the lead. Okay. Just check check if that's a Andrew legit. Andrew Keller has now know. bid three fifty. Andrew Keller has got us at three hundred and fifty dollars. Andrew Keller, you missed out on the turnbuckle pads, but you might not be missing out on this art piece at three fifty right now, guys. Uh, everybody that's been going back and forth, let us know if you're in or are you out, so we can put it on the sixty second clock, then the thirty second clock, then the ten basketball count. People say I should do the referee count. I'm not going to do that. It is the basketball count. Okay. Uh, Gerald Crush with 375. Gerald Crush, 375. Seventy-five is where we sit right now. Like I said, beautiful. I, you know what? I had a, I was dating an artist for a while, and I couldn't even find like this artist canvas, like in an art store. So like, even these artists, these, these are like cardboard canvas things. Very nice. I mean, it's not like a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard. This is like canvas, like cardboard, like a canvas panel. Like I couldn't even find these when I was dating an artist. And I can't find the, the girl I was, I was dating as an artist, so I can't find her anymore. So I can't find this or her anymore. So <laughs> David Linkus took us to 385. David Linkus took it to Andrew Keller then topped him at 395. And Jared Crush and David Linkus both bid 400, but Gerard was in first. Crush Gerard, was in first. Ger who was in first? Crush. Gerard Crush yes. is in at 400. Guys, let us know if you're in or you're out. Can you do better than $400? Andrew Keller is out. Andrew Keller is out. You're out. You missed out on the turnbuckle pad. You missed out on this. Sorry, Andrew. That's just the rules. But don't worry. I got plenty of other items for you to snipe on later on. But who we're sitting at right now? Four hundred dollars, guys. They've been going back and forth. Let us know if you're in or you're out, so we can put this on a sixty-second clock, then a thirty-second clock, and then we do the basketball count. David Linkus with four ten. David Linkus at four ten. And right now, guys, let you know we are in ten dollar increments at least. We're not doing the five dollar increments. We blew past that. We're moving right past that. We're on the $10 increments portion right now. Can you put it down in front of the camera? Absolutely. Again? I've been moving around way too much. I'm, I'm just trying to keep moving because when I move, I can breathe better in this shirt because it's a small. Right here. And like I said, let me show you on the back too. It is signed by Jeff. I don't know if that's been made very clear multiple times. It is signed right here by Jeff. We need to hear if Gerard's in or out. Gerard? He's out. Gerard, thank you so much, Gerard, for letting us know if you're in here. Are we on the six second clock now? Yes, David we, Linkus at 410. David Linkus, 410, 60 second clock has been activated. We will keep it here. When we get to the 30 second clock, we move to the hard camera. That's how we do it. Then we do the basketball count. Keep me honest on the 60 second, okay? Right now, let me know when we're down to the 30 seconds. On that, like I said, let's turn it around. This is, of course, the Devil God piece. You're sitting at 410, David Linkus. I got three. Seconds. I got three nods. We're at thirty seconds right now. David Linkus, four ten. Devil God auction piece art work right here. Where are you on the thirty seconds? Andrew Kella, four fifty. Andrew Kella, you said you were out. Can you come back in? Like, uh, can you? Yeah. Can, can we? Can you come back in? <sighs> He's done this before. He's very indecisive. David Linkus topped him anyway with four sixty. Four sixty. Kella, let us know if you're in or you're out. David Linkus, let us know if you're in or you're out. David Linkus still at the top with 460 though. $460. We're still on a, we're not even on a six cent clock anymore. Andrew Kella just obviously doesn't want to see Matt Hardy come out here. That's why he bid. That's what it is. I mean, Matt's ready to go. He's ready to auction off these items. And I'm ready to hear about some of these items. Some of these I know what they are. But I'm not 100% on a couple of them. But I'm sure there's a wonderful story on each and every one of these items. And I'm excited to hear them. But Andrew Kelly, he just wants to keep Matt Hardy in the background. So um, he's going to say in or out. No, David Lankis is a 460. He's the, he's the top guy. I know. Yeah. But I'm just waiting for Andrew Kelly to say he's out so we can put it on the 6 o'clock again. Also, shout out to Nick Alexander. 
Yeah, Nick Alexander. Nick Alexander, you want to see the basketball count? Come on. Like, Nick Alexander's ready to see the basketball count. He's ready to see Matt Hardy. So, guys. Andrew Kella, 480. 480. David, are you in or are you out? Can you do better than 480? David Linkus at 500. David Linkus at $500. Andrew Kella, are you in or are you out? Can you do better than $500? Andrew's out. Andrew's out. Time. Are you out, out? Are you out, out, Andrew? He's out, out. He's done. Broke the bank. David Linkus broke the bank right now at $500. He's on a 60 second clock right now, but I'm going to keep it right here already in the 30 second position. And it's going to be a fast 30 because I want to get to this basketball count as fast as possible. Mostly because I just need to get some more circulation in my arms because I really, my, my hands are starting to tingle right now because this is a very tight shirt. Um, 30 seconds. 30 seconds is where we're at. We're in the, we're in the wide camera already. We are in 30 seconds. We are getting very close. Let me know when I can do that 10-second basketball count from my good friend, Nick Alexander, who loves it when I do the basketball count. And it is a basketball count. And we're ready for the basketball count in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Give it a second. Let it die down. But David Linkus, I think we are good for you, sir. $500. Congratulations for this wonderful Jeff Hardy art piece. I can't wait to ship it out to you tomorrow. Make sure you pay your invoices. Make sure Elizabeth has your email account in coordinates with your PayPal account. All right. It's the time we've all been waiting for. It's the time that we bring out Matt Hardy back on camera. Go on, come on back out here, Matt. I'm going to go ahead and mask up too. Now put it on correctly. I had it upside down earlier, so I was looking a little goofy. So. Matt. Hello, everyone. Hello. How, how was signing? Is your hand cramped up? Are you good? You're good? I'm good. It's much easier than taking bumps, especially 28 years worth of bumps. Okay, exactly. You haven't taken too many bumps on your hands. So. Right. Okay. I'm okay. All right. All right. So we just all, we, we just auctioned off a painting. Now, from you, Jeff, right? From Jeff. Very okay. good. Now, Brother Nero. Brother Nero. We have multiple items. But right now, I we have some items here. Maybe... Where would you like to start on items for you to sign? I think maybe keep these two at the end. Yeah. But where do you want? Dealer's choice. Dealer's choice. Um, maybe we'll start with this. We'll start with this. Bids will start at five bucks, and they're going to work their way up. But tell us about this particular item. Next. This is a, a ring-worn shirt from WWE. Uh, after myself and Jeff won the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Okay. And uh, we decided to coin ourselves. The greatest tag team in all of space and time. These were made, and I wore this show, uh, I wore this uh, match on several house shows and also on television. Oh, I wore I, this shirt. With this shirt. I was going to say, the cut off sleeves so you can show off the guns, you know, as, as, as you I'm got. a work in progress. A work. You know? <laughs> I'm getting there. I, I, I'm a work in degression, if you're curious. <laughs> so, um, but no, uh, of all the, you've had a lot of shirts over the years. Yes. And, and, like, are you active in the designing of the shirts? Or the I try to be, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And what's that process like? They're like, hey, here's some of the ideas we have. Or you're like, hey, this is what I have. Can you create some things? And I say, yes, no, maybe. Uh, I think this shirt was actually created, like, once we were doing Broken Matt and Brother Nero, Space and Time was a big deal of ours. Mm -hmm. So after we won those SmackDown Tag Team titles, we're like, well, we've pretty much had every title we could possibly have considering the promotions we've been in. Yeah. So that's like while well, we sum this up, you know, and we're pretty honored that we're one of the most, uh, you know, uh, decorated tag teams in history. So that's where this shirt came from. And then the space and time was kind of like a, a throwback to Broken Mountain Brother Nero, but also represented the real Hardy Boys. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And uh, I've always asked, like, how, how was, who designed th this particular logo, like, you, like over the years? Like, who, who designed it? This, this Hardy Boys symbol? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, this was originally a WWE creation. Uh, I remember we elongated it whenever we came back to switch it up and make it like new or fresh again. And this one we're really trying to do like, it, it was stone. This representation is supposed to be like myself and my brother. Like it's in stone, there's a few cracks in it, but it's still rock solid, it's still strong. And that was the whole intent behind this one. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's see what the intent is with the bidders right now. Where are we sitting right now in the bids? Dave Lerman is at 200, but Andrew Keller just rhymed in with 250. We are delightful team. Dave Lerman. <laughs> <laughs> but Andrew Keller is now at 250 right now. Uh, Andrew Keller missed out on that art piece, but he ain't going to miss out on this T-shirt right here. Um, and uh, did you cut the cut the sleeves out yourself? I did. I cut these sleeves off. I, that's a, like I, I'm, I'm. Sometimes I'm really good at cutting the sleeves off. Sometimes I'm absolutely horrible. All right. So obviously you're a deep cut guy, or yeah. more of a like hard. A, a, a deep cut. Deep cut. Yeah. And too, like I fold the shirt over and try and do it symmetrical. Okay. It's never ever perfect. It's uh. Is that your trick? Because I, cause that's I just my cut, trick. Okay. Sometimes I try to match it up, but I'm not very good at it. So. Yeah. I'll, Pro tip. I yeah. usually I usually try and get a little bit of latissimus dorsi in there, you Me know, too. get a little bit of lat. So yeah, that's kind of what I, I aim for. Yeah, and I'm working for those little, little abs right there. I want to show <laughs> those off a little bit. Little, Me too. Little rib meat, you know. Me like, too. Little rib bone. I'm trying right to on. Say, you know, we know how it is. Older guys, we, we lean out, you know, because everything hurts on us, yeah, and man. our back can't carry so much. We have to work extra hard. Ex extra, extra hard. But who's working extra hard on these bids right now, Tommy? Carrie Cowling bid in first with 260, but she's tied with Stephen Brewer. Oh, so okay. technically Carrie and Steven. Carrie and Steven. Yeah. We got a hell of a race right here. Yeah, we, we got a hell of a race. And guys, as a reminder, it, let us know if you're in or you're out. The quicker we do that, the quicker we can get to a 60 second clock, quicker we can get to a 30 second clock, quicker we can get to a basketball count, and then move on to the next item. You have several other items up here. But, uh, you know, this right now is what we're auctioning off right here. This beautiful, you know, great, you know, greatest tag team. Talk about some of the, like, you held so many titles right. over, 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 over your career. Um, is there any like of all the belts like was there anyone like oh this is a really cool belt or this this means something to me or a title win like you i know they kind of blur together but does yeah. anyone mean more than the other uh, i mean something that will always stand out was the first time that myself and my brother won the wwe which was wwf tag team titles at that time because like as kids we grew up huge wrestling fans and we were very inspired to be a tag team and our goal was to one day be the tag team champions of the world in WWF one time. Yeah. And if we accomplished that, we achieved everything we were set out for. But obviously, we did much more than that. So that first win was like the realization that the dream would become a reality. Mm -hmm. and so it was very that, special. And didn't that happen in, it happened here in North Carolina? In Fayetteville. Fayetteville. I was going to say Fayetteville. I, wa I wanted to say Fayetteville, but it wasn't, mm -hmm. which is really just up the road from yes. where you live. I mean, yeah. how. Was there, is that where you saw wrestling growing up, was the Fayetteville area? It was, yeah. We would always go to either Fayetteville at mm -hmm. the Cumberland County Civic Center, the old one, mm -hmm. or to the Dorton Arena in Raleigh. Those were the two venues we usually went to. Mm -hmm. Once in a while, we'd make a Greensboro show, but like uh, the majority of the time we were watching wrestling would be NWA in Fayetteville, the Cumberland County Civic Center. Was there any particular show in Fayetteville or NWA show that you remember the most? Hmm... I know you were a big Jimmy Garvin fan, which most people don't yeah. know, but I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. See, I've always seen that on you. So like, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of my first character that I did on Independence High Voltage was modeled after uh, Jimmy Garvin's promos in all actuality. Yeah. Uh, and Michael Hayes, I was a big fan of, of them and the Freebirds all together, yeah. and I did a lot of their gigs. So how crazy is that that I ended up getting paired with Michael Hayes, especially once we started being utilized and really got an opportunity to, to do stuff. So that was cool. But uh, one of the first cool big memories that I can think of, there, there's two. One was seeing Andre the Giant. We okay. saw him there, which was a, a, a massive man. And just to see this guy in reality was insane. And also seeing Ric Flair. It was a, a big deal to see him because we knew he was announced from Charlotte, North Carolina. So like us, he was a fellow North Carolinian. And seeing Flair in the Four Horsemen was always a highlight going down the, to, to wrestling in Fedville. Let's see if we got any high points happening right now. The bids. Stephen Brewer at two seventy five. I think you can start the sixty second. Okay, we're on the sixty second round of Stephen Brewer two seventy five for this beautiful cut off t shirt. Is Stephen Brewer Stephen. the greatest bidder in all of space and time? Well, he's gonna he's gonna be he could be brewing up a, a, an auction win right here. We're at the sixty second. We're gonna get down to thirty second. Then I do the basketball count. I'm always asked to do the referee ten count, but it's the basketball count to me. Um, so, I mean, I, it's, you know, Steven, if you want to wear that shirt and look awesome, you might not look as awesome as I do in this shirt. I, it got a little crazy out here. You can tell that's why I'm, I'm here. I had the nice Omega shirt. Now I, I squeeze into a small and I'm losing all oxygen right now. Brother Jake, <laughs> I knew you'd come. All right. Are we good? Okay. Good to go. We're going to give a count in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Congratulations, Steven Brewer. T-shirt, uh, 275.
275. It's over! It is over, sir. I will take that from you. Okay. Where do you want to go next down memory lane for you, Matthew? All right. Um, let's go here next. Th this, I was very curious. I was like, there's something behind this, and I don't know what. It looks familiar to me, but please, as the bids are coming in at five bucks and work their way up, tell me the story behind this. Item. Does anyone out there know where this shirt is from? I, I know some people do because I had tweeted this earlier and I got a lot of responses. After myself and my brother had our WrestleMania uh, 25 match, the, we had a stretcher match the following SmackDown, and then we built to the next pay-per-view, which was going to be an I Quit match. And we both had an in-ring promo that we both loved and we thought really, we thought really, really well. And it was probably the, my favorite promo that myself and my brother have done the ring together against one another as competitors. And I was wearing this shirt. And there's a, I can't quote it, I don't remember it exactly, but Jeff said a very famous line at the end. He said, you know, he says, Matt, you're sick, you're twisted, you're demented, and so am I. And then tackled me, and it was a big fight, going off real hot, building to our, uh, our I Quit match. And this shirt is what I wore there. And I saw pictures and video footage of this for the longest time. And a lot of fans remember this, especially because that was such a wild angle where all the accidents happened. Like, I used the fireworks and tried to blow up my brother. And then the whole thing about, like, burning his house down after his house legitimately burnt down. It was a pretty wild angle. So this shirt was from a very key promo that we had in a WWE ring. Was that the one where you had the dog collar, too? I remember that promo, too. Probably. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Like, I remember that feud very intently. I remember you being chained to the, the, the table and him doing, coming down on you, and I just remember, oh, I don't want to take that vote. It legit broke my hand, too. I broke my hand in three places. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see if anybody's breaking their hands, typing in their bids right now. Dave Lerman is at 260. Dave Lerman is Delightful 260. Dave. All right. We've already climbed up. We're almost, we've almost surpassed the last T-shirt we, we, we put up there, but this is a nice, beautiful shirt. Uh, Christy, the owner's wife, came over and was just admiring how beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful shirt, regardless. It is, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, they're definitely of the time, like it was like, like yes. mid 2000. Yes, I have a, I have a pair of jeans that's just like this. This is know. a very mid 2000 <laughs> affliction style shirt, no doubt about it. I'm glad you recognize that because oh, I'm like, oh, it's no doubt. And you had a lot of those. Too. I did, yeah, 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 yeah. I was in on it too. You were in it. A lot of people were yeah. in on it. It, so. it was it was kind of like a trend in wrestling, you know. I it was almost like the Zubas of the late 80s, early 90s. Guys were rocking that affliction stuff nonstop at a point. Yeah, I actually. I did extra talent in jeans that were kind of of that style. Which <laughs> the fact that I was allowed to do extra talent in jeans is, I don't even know why they let me do that. So they should have kicked me out. Um, but, but no, like, and talk about that few, like, wrestling, Jeff. Like, a lot of, like, what are your, some of your proudest moments of, of, of wrestling, Jeff? Of course, you wrestle him in Omega. Like, that, that, yeah. that match you had against him in Omega was, was wonderful. The feud you guys had in WWE and the other places all over in other promotions. What's your favorite feud in feuding against your brother? This was the, the best go we'd had whenever we did WWE programs against one another. I know when we first started and we were a tag team and we had the titles a couple times, and the first time they were going to split us, we were both very uncomfortable with it because I don't think we felt confident on our own, and we thought we still had a lot more to do as a tag team. It was right after WCW was acquired. But they were like insistent, like, well, these guys are over as a tag team. If we can branch them out and have two singles acts that are over, it'll be a win-win for us. And they tried it, we weren't very comfortable, and I could even tell us working one another didn't feel right. Eventually we got a team again, and later whenever we split and Jeff stayed on Raw, I went over to SmackDown and I did Matt Hardy version one, mm -hmm. the Sensei of Attitude. That was a really fun time for me to get the opportunity to do that. We didn't really have a feud, so to say, during that, but the next time that we did have a feud, whenever we did the deal where I turned on Jeff, kind of out of jealousy, which Jeff has always been historically more popular than I am, no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. So that, that worked, and we could really feed off that. And I think we were both so comfortable and confident in our own abilities as you know, between characters and in-ring performances that I thought that program was really good leading up to WrestleMania 25, the stretcher match, and the I Quit match. Mm -hmm. It was just Jeff was getting ready to leave, and then I was having a problem staying a baby face at that time. So we ended up turning me back. But that was my favorite one in WWE, my favorite one overall. I would say would have been the time that Brother Nero and Broken Matt did their storyline arc. Because by that point, we were totally comfortable in every fiber of our skin, and mm -hmm. we were full-fledged committed to everything. Absolutely, and you just all the way through it and stuff like that. And even that version one character, when you guys split, 
Like you, you always said, you know, oh, Jeff is more popular than me. But I remember that time when version one was happening. I remember on Raw, Eric Bischoff in a promo was like, looks like I got, I got the wrong Hardy. I should have got version one. Because it seemed like <laughs> Jeff was kind of yeah. floundering there. Yeah, but yeah. you were like flourishing you know, on SmackDown there for a while. And I remember that kind of being a thing. You say you weren't competing, but like kind of like the two Hardys on the different like brands, there was almost like a comp- competition going on, even though you weren't on the same show. Yeah, and I, I think it always is. Not only just... I mean, especially in the fans' eyes. Mm-hmm. I think whenever they see a tag team that especially achieve a, a, a large amount of success together, whenever they see them, like, break off and go into singles, they always going to want to, like, who's going to be the dominant one? Who's going to be the best? Is one of them going to fail? You know, the most constant analogy you think about is the Shawn Michaels, Marty Jannetty thing. When people mm-hmm. say, well, Shawn went on these great heights and Marty kind of floundered. But, you know, we've both been very fortunate to have great singles careers as well. Edge and Christian are another two guys that did really well on their own also. Okay, let's see if who's doing really well on their own right now. What size is the shirt? Okay, what size it is, the is shirt? a double XL. Two oh. XL. Oh, Beef Boy Matt yeah, Hardy yeah, right here. Yeah. Two XL. Right when here. I was a young, healthy kid. <laughs> <laughs> and the bidding is Andrew Kella at 325 is in the lead. Andrew Kella is at 325. Everybody else let us know if you're in or you're out so we can put the six-second clock. Have we been sitting at 325 for a while? We've been sitting at it for a while. Should we put it? Okay, so we're on the we're on the sixty right now. Andrew Kella, three twenty five. Three twenty five. Andrew, Andrew we got a three twenty five already. Uh, 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 yeah, go, my go, auctioneer go. voice is so <laughs> awful. Like, oh I, my I, god! I, I wish I could do it. I, 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 I try, I'm doing my best, Butch Borman, when I do this, which is my <laughs> local town auctioneer, who was also my baseball coach. <laughs> so it's weird when your baseball coach has an auctioneer voice and he's right. trying to tell you how to hit. And you're like, hey, but bad, but bad, but it's. I, that's always a bad hitter. Whenever uh, our father uh, grew tobacco when we were young, that was our source of income. We were very poor, and growing tobacco was our thing. But like we'd work in the tobacco fields. I remember going to the market and having the auctioneer do the tobacco thing, and I thought it was so cool at that point, yeah. especially how fast he would say things. Yeah, absolutely. We're Vince Graff is at three fifty. Okay, Vince Graff three fifty. Andrew Kell, let us know if you're in or are you out, uh, so we can start that six second clock. I'm sure you're in, Andrew, because you you, were, you haven't. You've been fighting all night long, and here's an opportunity to get this wonderful T-shirt, double XL, double XL, yeah. Oh man, jeez. It used to be big. Yeah. You know, until I got old. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. As, as you get older, like it's like your body can't carry like bad knees. How is your body holding up? Uh, it's been good. The schedule I've done the last six months, and I've been doing DDP yoga. I'll give a shout out to Dallas again. Sure. Been doing it two and a half weeks. I feel really great, actually. I feel like I'm improving some flexibility and it's helping my joints because he it's a very unique program and it really is you can tell he styled it to help him uh, wrestle and perform and take bumps as an older competitor so uh, I've been doing that and I feel good knock on wood you know so far so good well I think I'm at that point that I need to start doing that myself <laughs> so I'm definitely foam rolling my my back off for sure where are we at right now are we foam rolling our way in the auction Andrew is out so right now it's P Vince Graff at 350 P Vince Graff at 350 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. We're ticking down. We're getting close to that basketball count. Uh, we got plenty of other items we're going to get to. We're ticking down almost at that basketball count. Tick, 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 tock, tick, tock. I feel like I'm on uh, The Price is Right, you know, presenting the items. <laughs> yes. Well, if you, need me to, if you need me to be the Van Come White, on down. If you, if you need me to be the Bob Barker, I'll be the girl. Okay, we're going to the 10 right now. We're going to do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one congratulations vince p graf you are the winner of this particular shirt right here 350 it's a beauty it is a beauty where do you want to go next matthew down memory lane all right we'll go here we'll okay go in order all right I, i'll tell you what i'll hold this just this yeah, time I'll, okay. give, I'll give your arms a little right, bit of rest yeah so right here thank you tell you're, me the story on you're this. a much more beautiful vanna white than i am uh, yeah, it's a, it's it's a yeah. t-shirt right now i'm showing everything uh, off right now so this is from a promo that Jeff and I did on Raw, and it was the night after we wrestled Sheamus and Cesaro in a 30-minute Ironman match. And we almost tied it up at the very, very end. Uh, the clock ran out with one second left. The next night we came out and we did the promo where we both teased Broken Matt. The first time I said, yes. And Jeff said, fade away and classify yourself as obsolete, and we got delete chance. And it was really a, an intentional tease of Broken Matt and Brother Nero. And this is the shirt I was wearing in that promo. And we ended up wrestling against, uh, we, I don't know if it was that night, but we did something with the show very soon thereafter. Okay. Well, you know, as the, as, as the bids are coming in right now, t- tell us about 
how did you come up with that broken character? How, what, what, what started? You've always been a man of reinvention, but that was such a hard left. How did you get there? The way I got to that is because the style, as the style is nowadays, very fast-paced, a lot of high spots, pun intended because we're at high spots, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a, a lot of fast-paced action. And it's really young, young guys. And just considering how my body was before I really got into, like, my new plan of training and taking care of my body and diet and whatnot, I was like, considering these young guys that are 25, I'm not going to be able to hang with them at 40 or 41 just because of the wear and tear on my body from doing this over well over two decades. So I said, what if I did a throwback to, like, the old school Papa Shango slash Undertaker when he first started, a character, if I tried something out that we figured out an angle where it was a character that was, like, magical, where he could almost be like a, a character that is like more than human. That was my whole mentality about doing that. And really trying to like plug some entertainment aspect back in and also uh, achieve longevity myself. Mm -hmm. So that is where the idea originally came from. When I first started working, I was very young. So like from 1997, when we first started with WDB till 2010, 2011, like I just worked, 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 didn't do anything. After I had kind of, I, I burned out on all levels and I took care of myself. Once I started like dipping my toes back into wrestling a little bit, I started watching television shows, stuff like Dexter and True Blood mm -hmm. and True Detective and so so much great programming and television out there. And I pulled little things from different characters and whatnot. And the whole Broken Matt thing originally came from the idea of True Blood, just how vampires live through all these different time periods. And they like are present in whatever the era is, dressing in those clothes and like interacting with the people of that time. But then you see them through different eras, and I thought that was so cool. And I was like, how could I incorporate that into a wrestling character? And Broken Matt is what I came up with. Where my vessel hasn't done all that, which is my body, but my soul inside of it, which I refer to as an essence, has is aware of where it's traveled through its entire life. Mm -hmm. So that's how I've become 2,000, 3,000 years old. Incredible. That's it. And, and I like that you say pull from TV and stuff like that. That's why I have a mustache is because of the movie Bronson. Huh, I was right. like, man, I, I, I can be a badass. I don't look like a pedophile with just this. <laughs> so it, it's possible. Right. But, but is it possible for somebody to win this right here, right now, Tommy? Andrew is at 200, and I think you can start the 60. Okay, we're starting yeah. at the 60 at the 200. Andrew Kella is $200 in this particular the beginning of Broken Matt Hardy right here. This wonderful T-shirt. Um, right here. So, uh, beginning the broken character. Um, I don't want to start another story because we got it, somebody. It was, with... it was the tease before we got to Woken. The Woken, yes. Woken, the, 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 the Woken, exactly. The great yeah. value, Broken Matter. Okay, we're good to go. Jose Mendez is at 250. Jose oh, Mendes. there we go. Jose. Jose, there we go. Jose, the greatest in who, space and time. Who would have thought that all your t shirts go for two, over $250? Right here. When you go Jose's been reborn. Yeah, you're going to look through your closet and I'd like 250. <laughs> That's 250. That's 250. So. But uh, it is a, let's see, it is a large right there. Yeah. Look, showing off the guns right there. Oh, yeah. A little older, drop some weight, but look more <laughs> athletic. You know, I'm working on getting that six pack back in right now. I'm getting ready to do it. Oh, it's, uh, it's coming. Same, bro. Same, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Quarantine body works the opposite with us. We just uh, need to see if Andrew's in or out. Okay, Andrew, just let us know if you're in or you're out because we got a lot. He's out. <laughs> okay, we're on the 60 second clock now. Um, with, with the you know with with the evolution of the broken character yep. and, and and everything, um, was there any specific like obviously the vampires? Did you watch a lot of vampire movies? True Blood, like well, like what were what are some other examples that you watch TV show wise that you kind of pulled from? Uh, I, I pulled a lot of stuff from like Rustin Cole. Okay. Uh, Russ Cole is Matthew McConaughey's character in uh, True Detective, so great. Dexter, there are things I pulled from them, different qualities, and something that is. I don't know if I've ever said this publicly in an interview, but Solid Fingers. If you are you familiar with Solid Fingers? <laughs> no, not at all. Solid Fingers. Anybody? Anybody? Solid Fingers is like a, a, a very strange, odd cartoon, uh, nonsensical in many ways, from the UK by David Firth. And a friend of mine introduced me to that a long time ago. And some of the stuff from Solid Fingers I incorporated into Broken Mount Hardy. If you watch this cartoon, I'm trying to remember to look at it, and you'll go, "This has to make sense. It has to make sense." But then you really can't make it make sense when it's all said and done. Salad fingers, yes. Salad fingers. I'm glad we got that exclusive here, but yeah. is somebody exclusively going to get this? Are we good? Still Jose at 250. Two, Jose, can we do the basketball count? Are we at it right now? Jose, here we go. 250 in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. Congratulations, oh, Jose. Wow. $250. This t-shirt. Congratulations, is Jose. And Jose says, What's up, Matt, from the Mendez boys in Chicago? Oh, I know who that is. Those are, those are my boys, the Mendez boys. They're my boys in Chicago. Hey, if anybody out there, if you guys want me to sign or personalize this stuff in any way, let me know. If you guys win the bid, I am happy to do whatever you ask. Yeah, just get it in right now. Let us know. Don't be like, hey, an hour from now. Right. Get it in right now. So, where are we Jose. Going? Thank you, Jose, for that. But who is, where are we going next in memory lane right All now? All right. Here we go. These, these are the two main yeah. eventers here. Yeah, we're, yeah, so, okay, we're good. Well, we're gonna go here. Well, let me let me. If some people were, were curious on this, let me kind of give them a hint on what this yeah. is. <laughs> this right here, just to give a hint, if that gives you a hint, what this is. Explain it if they couldn't pick up that hint already. It was unbelievable how like viral this shirt and like when I'd wear it, like wrestling fans would say like, "Oh my God, that pink shirt! That is the shirt you were wearing in the anti-bullying video that you did against Kevin Owens, Kevin Steen at the time." Uh, I did this at Ring of Honor. I actually wore it at Ring of Honor a couple times. But I held up cue cards, and I never said one word the whole while. I just held up cue cards and did the whole anti-bullying video. And it was probably my best promo ever because I shut my mouth. <laughs> and I didn't have to speak. But it was like a, a super cool promo that went half-ass viral in the wrestling world. And I uh, was really proud of it and the creativity. It was shot by my uh, lovely wife, Revy Hardy. And this is the shirt. Fans would ask me about it all the time if I were wearing it. Like, oh my God, is that the shirt from the anti-bullying video against Kevin Steed where you were Big Money Matt and you're really like leaning into Big Money Matt hard? And I go, yes, this is it. So it is here and uh, I've watched it many, many times. I've worn it many, many times. And I said, this would be a really cool item that some fan of mine could get. So voila, it's here and it's your opportunity to get, a, get your hands on it. A piece of internet history. Now, you've always been ahead of the curve on a lot of things. You've been ahead of the curve on social media, getting YouTube videos out, and especially the idea of wrestling promos being different, as opposed yes. to this Saturday night, you've always been ahead of the curve on, on this. Like, how have you always done that? Like, here's, what's your secret? What are you, what are you looking for? Well, how do you always find yourself ahead of everybody else, ahead of the curve? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I feel like what I try and do is like read the current fan base and kind of like w what they're doing or like if you look at the crop of pro wrestling if you see an area where there's something you think that isn't being done by anyone and it's something the current fan base would enjoy or appreciate i think that's something to like lean into mm -hmm. so that's always what i've tried to do even like when social media and the internet first started coming along like i was one of the first guys to utilize that a lot so did hurricane uh shane helms but like I know, I got, I got a lot of heat whenever I was originally doing it. You know, like they're like, "Why are you doing that? This internet stuff, this internet stuff." But it was the way of the future, mm -hmm. and I could see that many years ahead of, ahead of the time, and uh, and it truly is. And like, there's just so much stuff now that is driven by the internet. I mean, you can't listen to everything on the internet because there are fans that aren't internet fans that are still fans. So we're playing to two different masters. I feel like in this day and age, whenever I'm working on you know AW Dynamite, I feel like I am playing to two audiences. One like the casual fans. And also the insider smart fans that are online and wrestling Twitter or w whatever you classify them at that understand what we're doing and that I am the man, Matt Hardy, performing as Broken Matt Hardy or Matt Hardy the first version or Unkillable Matt Hardy or whatever it may be. But I try and like put my stuff together so that I like satisfy both of those groups. And I feel like that's what, what's really important. And that, that's a lot of my mentality when like looking ahead into the future what I decide I want to do for myself. What will satisfy both groups because you're serving two different masters. Okay. Well, let's see if we're serving one master right now on these bids. Where are we at? Rob Mack is at 315. Oh, Rob Mack at 315. People going back and forth. Let us know if you're in or you're out, but 315 is where we sit with yeah, Rob Mack. It's a stylish shirt. Now, too. you just you brought about your beautiful wife, Rebby, and she helped you with a lot of those videos. Mm -hmm. Talk about her and her influence, her help with all of the, these videos. Because I don't, you know, she's tremendously talented, the music, video editor, films. And talk about her, because here's a story. When I put together a $5 wrestling show, sometimes I just need Caleb Connolly to stand there and be like, these are my ideas and work it out. But it seems like if there's a little more of a collaborative effort between right. you and Rebby, like you should do this, you should do that. Or sometimes you just need somebody to stand there like, this is my idea, can you make this happen? Yeah, I mean like with her, with her, the way our interaction works is because she is very headstrong, but like 
once I have an idea of a video that I would like to do, like for instance, I'll use my Free the Delete series, which mm -hmm. I was going to get back to doing Broken Matt and like evolving my character. I wasn't just going to stay as like Matt Hardy of, of, of the Hardy Boys from late 90s, early 2000s. I was, I was going to change one way or the other when I was, you know, finishing up my WWE deal. And I was hoping to do it there, but, you know, it ended up that didn't work. So I left and went to AEW. And I, I love it there. It's just the creative freedom and liberties there is just so, so refreshing in so, so many ways. And so many great guys there. What a, a great crew they have. But when I'm working with her, like on the Free of the League, well, this is where I want to go. And this is what I'm thinking for this particular episode. Blah, 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 blah. And this is what I'd like to achieve. This is what I want people to, to feel. Or this is... You know, the, the, the idea I'm trying to, like, put into people's heads, I want them to take away from this. And she's like, well, I think we should shoot it like this. And it's like this, and this, and this is the shot. And then sometimes I'll go, but I, I really don't think it's should Trust me, this is going to work. This is going to work. And I really let her handle that in, and I, and I trust her. Like, if I give her an idea of how I envision something, and then she just, like, formats it, how it works for her to edit it, and then shoot it and everything, that's usually what we end up doing. And... When she decides how she's going to edit and shoot it, like, I'm kind of stuck anyway because that's how it's going to happen. Yeah, you know what I mean? So it's you like, haven't learned Final Cut I, yet. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I need to be crystal clear whenever I give her my vision. But no, she's it, it's fun to collaborate with her, and she's she's off the charts talented when it comes to, like, video editing and, like, taking photos and photo editing as well. She's so super talented. Uh, absolutely. And, and, you know, we're not going to have a collaboration because we're on the 6 second clock with who right Rob now? Rob Mack at 3.15. Rob Mack, 3.15. This is where we sit right now. Uh, extra slim fit yeah, shirt, yeah. too. Yeah, I want to make the arms. The guns look big, bro. Uh, uh, trust me, I know. That's why I'm <laughs> small right now. Uh, but, yeah, 60 second clock. But also, too, Rebby, very talented musician. Uh, pl yes. Played the piano a lot for a lot of the music. But it's nice when you're like, uh, instead of paying for a twenty dollar cheap music audio jungle thing, yeah. like, hey, honey, can you just record something yes. on the piano that sounds incredible? <laughs> like that. Yeah, no, but she she's such a huge asset, and like the whole concept of the broken universe wouldn't have materialized without her help. Because even the stuff that we shot, like whenever we're doing stuff on TV, you know, Jeremy Borash and and Jimmy Paradise, those guys were are incredible and they're amazing. But also when we did stuff on our own, just out of in-house from the Hardy compound, she always shot it and did it, and it helped uh, accelerate the whole getting overness of the Broken Universe in so many ways. So I, I definitely owe her a great debt for that. And also, she was a big part of the act as Queen Rebecca, mm -hmm. and also her dad too, which is Senior Benjamin. He was over as hell, man. Absolutely, still is. Yeah, King Maxwell, we can't forget about him as mm -hmm. well. But we can't forget about Robert Mack, who's on the 10-second basketball count right now. Rob Mack at 3:15 in 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations, Ron Mack. This piece of internet wrestling history right here. I'll even throw in my note cards in the pocket. Yeah. How about that? I'm holding up a note card uh, with me smiling. I'm very happy you got this shirt. I'm very happy you procured it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> sure. There you go. All right. We're uh, we sit probably right. same two. And it's, it's like, yeah, actually, you know what? Tell you what. Any, any one of these for the end, I think will be good. So if you want to go over here, there, or wherever. Let's go with this. Okay, let's go there. And I will hold this up for you. Dang so keep your hands free. As the bids come in, tell everybody what All this right. is. I think they Ooh. already know. Uh, this is probably almost as iconic as it gets when it comes to the Hardy Boys. When myself and my brother were going to first get the opportunity to have the machine get behind us in WWE, uh, they were going to pair us with Michael Hayes. And they said, well, we need you guys to have new outfits. Back in the day, we wore tights with crazy designs and headbands and armbands, much like the Young Bucks wear nowadays. But we were wearing that, and we were going to switch up our look. And we went out, and Michael said, all right, guys, what should we do? Should we look like for some stuff like the Freebirds used to wear? Maybe tight jeans and a big-ass belt buckle and, and boots? <laughs> and I remember my brother. I was kind of thinking some flags and stars and bars. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and my brother said, well, you know, that's cool, but let's maybe try and update it a little bit or whatever it may be. And we went shopping, and we went out to a mall, and we stumbled onto this. And we got kickwear pants, which became the very famous Hardy Boys baggy pants, which every indie wrestler was going to buy and wear. And let's go ahead and plug it. You went to a Hot uh, Topic. You went to a Hot Topic. <laughs> yeah, it was actually Gadzooks to begin okay, with. Okay, okay. It thing. started with Gadzooks, okay. which is very similar. Okay. There you go. And uh, Gadzooks and Hot Topics were the two stores at mm -hmm. this time. And we had kickwear pants, okay. and then we got some of these tight shirts there, and this is the first shirt 
that I wore when the Hardy Boys debuted with Michael Hayes and most 90% of our first photos from our photo spread are in this shirt. I have pictures of this shirt all over that will live forever. So this was very famous. And even Michael Hayes being a very team player, he actually went and he said, we, we put on these outfits and he said, guys, that looks good. That looks great. And I remember he said, hey, you guys got my size. And he went, he got the same outfit. So we all three matched and we were all three a team. And that was our deal. We were going to be like the Freebirds. We uh, worked together. We traveled together and we stayed at the same hotel every single time. Whatever we did, we did together to be a team, a unit. And that was Michael Hayes' influence on me. So this shirt was first shown on Sunday Night Heat when we did a bloodbath and then on Raw whenever we had a six-man tag against Edge, Christian, and Gangrel. That is the history of this shirt and it's been worn hundreds of times on WWE events and probably dozens or almost 100 on WWE TV. So it's been worn quite, quite a bit. Okay, well, I'm sure we're getting quite, a, quite a bit of bids. Where are we at right now? Dave Lerman is at 400. Dave Lerman go. is That's at my 400. Guy right He's a good guy. Dave Lerman right here. And, you know, I, I remember these shirts very late 90s. I, very late 90s. I, what size is it? Oh, there's not even a size anymore. Well, probably a 3X, you know. Uh -huh. That was 3X, 2X, and then he went to a large. So. This is probably a large. It's like a spandex shirt. It, like, fits everybody regardless. Yeah. And uh, Dave Lerman, if you end up getting this, it's going to take you to your Arcadia, I'm sure. Whoever gets this shirt <laughs> is going to go to their own personal Arcadia. I can tell you, you're going to love it. Absolutely. I remember getting these shirts uh, in high school. And I go to all-ages nightclubs. This is what I would wear. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this is the thing. But let's talk about Michael Hayes and some of those trips. What are some of the, the valuable pieces of information, the little nuggets that Michael Hayes would give you when you were traveling with him? The biggest thing I think that Michael Hayes instilled in myself and my brother was, uh, and, and I have to say, Michael Hayes is just a, an incredible fountain of information, especially wrestling information, psychology. But the one thing he said that really stuck with me more than anything else, he says, well, everybody knows, you know, you two young guys can do all these pretty moves, all these fancy, cool looking moves. Like, but what if you did that deal where you get down on all fours and your brother jumps off your back and does that jumping, flying kick into the corner? What if that guy sells out and then you take his head off viciously with a clothesline and then you get on top of him and pound his brain in? He said, people need to know that you're not just like an acrobat or you can do like cool, fancy moves. They need to know that you can fight, that you can throw hands and you can fight and be vicious because like a casual fan, when they watch something, they need to understand that this person is in the ring. Like, hold up, this person can go. Like, I don't want to get in a fight with them if I run into them outside because they're going to beat my ass. And that, that was one of the things he really instilled in us that like really stuck with me and it helped me out a lot personally. Absolutely. Let's see who we're helping out personally on these bids right now. Uh, two things. Dan Lerman's at five hundred. Okay, we're five hundred. And once again more Funkos. <laughs> okay. Uh <laughs> Well, we're sitting at 500 with this, guys. If you want <sighs> the signed Funkos, Matt, you've been furiously signing these. Just put sold Hardy Funko $100. Also, too, we got the delete one. Just put delete 20. Hmm. We also have uh, belt 20. And then we got Omega 40 right here. And this wonderful art. We'll talk about this. Do you see this art piece? This is looking it's incredible. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Just put art 40 right here. What, what do you think of when you see this art piece right here? This Matt? is a. Uh the multiverse of Matt Hardy. And uh, spoiler alert, you ain't heard it from me, but I think my next shirt is getting ready to come out of AEW, and it is going to be the multiverse of Matt Hardy, and I am in love with it. You guys are going to dig it so much. Absolutely. And you dig this art piece. You can get it for uh, $40 just by putting art print 40. But right now we're sitting at 500 right now on the shirt, unless things have moved. We're on the 60-second clock we go. right Tell now. Let's see if Dan Sky is in or out. Dan Sky, you got to know if you're in or are you out. He's out. He's out. He's out. Oh. Okay, now it's a 60 second clock. $500. Piece of wrestling history, oh, guys. Huge I mean, piece, yeah. Yeah, like, like seeing you like early on, I was such a big fan of you guys like right away. Oh, like, I you. remember just being glued to the DV set, seeing that ladder match right. between you uh, and Edge and Christian. I, I can't remember. Yeah. But it just, it just seeing that, like, Oh my God, human beings are doing it. it. It reminds me when I saw Richard Pryor do stand up. Right. When I, because I always saw, saw stand up was like 10 minutes long, and then I saw somebody do it for an hour. And I'm like, oh my God, you can do that for an hour. And then yeah. I saw you guys doing all these athletic things off the ladder. I'm like, human beings can do that in a wrestling ring. Just blew my mind. That, that was the match. I mean, we had won the World Tag Team titles already. Mm -hmm. And 
really like it was a point where the titles were helping us as opposed to us helping the titles. But whenever we had that tag team ladder match against Edge and Christian, that is the match that put us on the map and turned us into legitimate wrestling superstars at that time. That match did more for us than any other match I can think of. Absolutely. Let's see what we can do any more. Than right. We're at the 10 second right now. Uh, you're going to get a piece of wrestling. Is he Dan Learman? Yes. $500. Dan Learman, $500. Dave. Dave Learman, excuse me. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Congratulations. A piece of wrestling history right here. If you want it signed, let us know. Please, right here, right now. Delightful day. You Congratulations. Guys, you guys are doing a fantastic job with these auctions. We're burning right through them. Can we, you please remind the winner that he just won because he said his screen, his screen froze. Dave, countdown. you won. You won. You got it, buddy. You're good to go. I'm not holding it. Auction is done. You won. Congratulations. Which one do you want to go with? Do you want to go to the pants or the boots? Oh, that's right. We have the boots, too. Mm -hmm. Um... Let's go with the boots. Okay, boots. The boots. All right, bids are gonna come in at five bucks. They're gonna work their way up, but please tell us the history on these boots. All right, I am going to let everybody in on a secret. I have a long storied history with hot spots. Uh, oh, you guys have been very good to me. Oh, thank you. Whenever I returned to SmackDown on a hiatus and teamed with Jeff, that was in Charlotte, North Carolina. And we just showed up as mystery opponents for Sheamus and Cesaro. And uh, I'd been off for a few months. Uh, I'd gotten really in shape. And the next day, I came by here, spoke with Michael, and I got these boots because he, ha he had them in stock. I was going to get some like smaller, lighter boots just to move around a little better uh, as my joints uh, have been beat up and they have a little wear and tear on them. And I got this pair of boots. These are the boots that I wore whenever myself and my brother uh, performed at WrestleMania 35. We're in, in the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. So these were worn in WrestleMania. And these are also the boots I was wearing whenever we won the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Uh, and th that was really cool because winning that meant that we'd won virtually every Tag Team title there has been to win in the WWE. So these boots are very famous. And I wore them on every show in WWE. And I wore them all the way up until my first uh, match in AEW. So I wore these boots. They have a lot of classic memories in them already. But the two biggest being the WrestleMania 35 and winning the tag team titles with my brother against the Usos. So here you go, they're, they're unique boots too. They lace up on the side. They were uh, really cool too, just how there were no laces in the front. So I like the design of these as well. Okay, uh, you, you prefer the laces on the side. Is it a little trickier to, to lace them up? Or they, they move a little weirder? No, they, they were just unique in that way. Uh, I, I like having a zipper on the side. I, ca I like having the, mm -hmm. the lacing in the front actually. Mm -hmm. But these were very unique. They were the only ones that Michael had that fit me and I was just here in the area because I just worked in Charlotte the night before. Mm -hmm. And I needed boots because my other one, the sole, was coming off of those boots. So I was like, I need boots. ASAP, if you have them, you could have ordered them. He had these. They had the laces on the side, and they fit me. The only pair that fit me when I was here. So I, like, scooped them up, and then I enjoyed wearing them. I had a lot of success with them. Absolutely. How many pairs of boots have you had over your career? Oh, my God. Um, I would probably guess 40 pairs. Really? You go through that many? Probably forty pairs. Well, I mean, you probably wrestle more than I do. I was, I'm still on my third or fourth right now. Yeah. I mean, that, maybe because I, I, you know, I know a place where I can get some good pairs. So and yeah. I, uh -huh. and, and because they know they're coming to, to an employee, they make sure they, they put a little extra care in them. So. And there was a time when we were doing ten days on yeah. and four days off, and did that for a long time. So. You, you burned them, them up you, pretty you fast. You burned through them pretty quick. I, yeah. I bet. And, and probably didn't even have time to resole some of them. Like, all right, this is burned. Give me yeah, another bolt. Yeah. Burn, give me through another one. You know, like tires on a NASCAR. You right. know, like, absolutely. And I actually just picked up two new pair of boots today that I'm going to be taking to AW Dynamite on Wednesdays. All right, cool. You break them in. Do you, you, yeah, you, you walk around and break them in a little I do, bit? yeah. I do yeah. that. You yeah. too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'll just, I'll literally take them at home. Sometimes I'll just wear them and. Do elliptical on my cardio machine, mm -hmm. like for two or three days to try and break them in. Yeah, because when you don't break them in, like the fronts right here, there's that little edge. You like feel like you you almost could fall over at any it's, time. It's very important. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to put in the back them. and stuff like that. And I always remember Roddy Piper would always say you you would look at a fighter if they're an aggressive fighter moving forward, the front of their boots would be worn down or if they're more of a defensive fighter the backs would be worn down oh solid theory yeah yeah, yeah. so like they'd be always moving backwards i think i got a special uh mad fact matt breaks in his boots by doing cardio on the elliptical three days straight 
And they're straight. Well, well, let's see where we're at right now on the bids right now. Do we have any bids? Dan Skies at 400. Dan Skies at 400, which is a steal. Just the boots alone are probably worth, I mean, yeah. or four, you probably paid 400 for it. So, but, uh, but no, uh, gosh, I'm trying to think. We've had a lot of topics to talk about, so I'm trying to remember. So, with, with with these boots, did you do you have like a, a, of the forty pair? Is there one that was like special that you kind of hang on to that you wouldn't get rid of, like your first pair or your second yeah, pair? Yeah, well, some of the we had some really uh, nice, a little more expensive boots when we first started doing the Hardy Boys. Once we first started making some money, like we had stuff that had like uh, special leathers and like white strips on it and different stuff, a little design. I have some of those that I would probably hold on to them. But I also look back now; they're very heavy. Yeah. And like you could tell, it was like young and strong, like a an mm-hmm. old mule. Then you know, because yeah, like, yeah. I could drag these big ass boots around and jump off the top and whatnot. Doing still doing that leg drop off the top rope every night, you know, to the hard ass ring back in the day. So yeah, I was wearing those big heavy boots, but they were cool because they were very like trendy and and cool, and we were trying to look young and hip. So now I just want like kind of a basic pair because usually I have pants that go over them. And mm-hmm. if not, if I am wearing tights, I have like kick kick pads over them. So yeah, absolutely. And then you got like the shorter ones. Like, obviously, like, I, I prefer the shorter ones yeah. as well, where, like, I've been wearing the short ones for so long, and then sometimes I wear the longer ones just because of, like, I'm trying to match. Like, I have to wear all black gear. I want black boots instead of brown because I'm weird like that. Like, all right. Like, wearing brown boots with black shorts doesn't look good, so I wear my long blacks. I'm like, oh, this is just the extra six inches of leather is a little too heavy for me right. for whatever right. reason. But, you, I mean, you as a young man, this guy right here, a lot of the Omega stuff, doing springboards. Like, I look back at some of that old stuff that you used yeah. to do. It was incredible. Do you ever look back at some of the stuff you used to do as a young man, especially in the Omega days, and be like, how did I do this physically? Yes, <laughs> yes <laughs> I do. Like, when I see the 450, and I did yeah. that all the time, like, on any You were like shows. a white, too cold Scorpio. It was insane. I was doing that back in, like, 92, 93. Um, yeah. uh, doing the uh, uh, springboard. Springboard Moonsault was my finisher. Mm-hmm. You know, so I would le- legitimately do that every night. And uh, I did the shooting star press a couple of times, twice I think I did it, and then one time I landed on my head, and then that was it. Then Jeff continued to do that, even though he was such a, a drifter. He was real bad to like drift on shooting stars and moonsaults. But going back and doing that stuff, I could just tell like I was young, I was fresh. Uh, I hadn't taken many bumps off my bump card at that time, so mm-hmm. like my body was pretty limber and flexible. And uh, working on that DDPY to get it back, man. There you go. We might see that down on the road. But where are we at on seeing these bids? Are we close? There's a bidding war between Teddy Spees and uh, Dan Sky. And Teddy Spees is out. So right now, Dan Sky is at the lead at 525. 525, Dan Sky. We have gotten Sky Dan High Sky. on these boots right here. Dashing Dan. Dashing Dan, my friend. It's going Sky High on the bids right now at 525 on a 60 second clock right now, unless anybody else jumps in on them right now. But uh, I, I had to talk about Omega and we've only got like one more item and I just like such a big fan of Omega. And I look back at what like you guys were far more influential than you ever realized. Cause doing that type of like stuff, like bringing some of the stuff that you would see from like a New Japan Super Juniors and doing it here in the North Carolina area. Like, even in 2005 when I came here, if I jumped off the top rope twice, I would get yelled at by an old-timer. The fact that you guys were doing it in the early 90s and mid-90s, like, you were really innovators and pushing forward and fighting for the art form to get better. Tell me what that was I mean, that's it. I mean, to to a lot of people, I'm sure they considered Omega at first an outlaw mud show, you know, Mm -hmm. but it was a bunch of young guys who were hungry and motivated and, like, wanted to live out their dreams, so... We went out there, and I remember I was the I was the I booked all the talent, I booked the cards. Uh, once Thomas Simpson came along, he was like the investor because he had money. I was just a broke ass teenager at the time. Mm-hmm. But my goal too, when we would go out, I'd like, well, let's have every match like, you know, if you can steal the show, steal the show, you yeah. know, as opposed to like, you know, a lot of shows like, especially back in that time period, they say the first match is an opener. You don't go out of the ring. You don't do any yeah. big bumps. Then you build, and then you build, and then you save everything for the main event. I'm like, you guys all go crazy. If you can go out and steal the show in your match, then do it. And that's what I want to do. I wanted to have, like, a solid two and a half, two to two and a half hour show where everybody kicked ass and, like, the fans were just like, oh, my God, this is amazing. And I felt like that mentality is what we had is what, like, Ring of Honor ultimately became. And, like, once the X Division started in TNA and, like, it's really what wrestling is now, you know. It's like you kind of, if you can go out, if you watch an episode of AEW Dynamite, it's like no match is held back. Like, every match can go out and try and steal the show, you know, considering just whatever their time is. 
Well, what time we, are we on at these bids? We have a new bidder. A Brian new bid. Perez is now on the lead at 5.50. Brian um, Perez at 5.50. Bodacious Brian. Uh, huh? I didn't know if Dan Scott was in or out. Dan, let us know if you're in or are you're out right now. That's what we need. But Brian Perez is in the lead. Dan, let us know if you're in or you're out. The way that you know if you're in is bid higher than Brian did. Okay? <laughs> That's how you do it. That's as simple as that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, I just, like, Omega, I think, is it gets lost in, in wrestling history, especially indie history. And I just think because the geographic location of this area, this is the yeah. work the arm brother territory yeah, 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 of yeah. the world and has been for quite some time. I would say even like 2010 is really when a shift happened, right. at least that I could notice. And I just like talk to me some of the resistance that you would run into from some of these shows. From there, time to time. Well, they're like. Doing Omega, there was never any resistance because, because it, was, it was our guys. Yeah. You know, it was like I booked, and it was all our guys that I had handpicked. You know, yeah. as far as that goes. Um, later, like whenever we'd work on other shows, there were times where people were like, "Hey, hey, brother, you're doing too much." Yeah. You know, if we're out here for Sang and George or whatever, yeah. you know. But they would still like they also got the idea that you guys are really athletic. Like, do a couple of the cool things, you know, yeah. like because they knew it was exciting to the audiences. I'm very proud of how like Omega was very famous for like tape trading. Yes. There were people like uh, you know. Uh, on the East Coast, like up towards the, the New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore area that would like get these tapes and trade tapes. And there's some people overseas that they go, oh my God, I got VHS tapes and did tape trading with Omega. And that was so cool. The legacy lives on like that. But I, I really feel like Omega, we were doing some really cool, some really good stuff. And we had good stories. I really tried to like drag storylines from, you know, building to building. Although it was like live events or house shows, I tried to make them like uh, have good continuity. But we never got any press in like PWI or the wrestling magazines. And all these guys in the Northeast, I remember like uh, Devin Storm, Reckless Youth. Reckless Youth yeah. got all the press, you know. Bill like, Montoya, yeah, all those guys, yeah. All those guys up north. And we're like, why can't we get that press? And it's just because like the people who were at the magazines lived there and they knew them and they interacted with them. They could drive to that show. Yeah, it's so, for the yeah. Drive. yeah. So, so we weren't getting any of that kind of press. But like, we were doing so many good things and like we wanted so bad to get like this coverage because that's before the internet happened and you could really get yourself out there on your own you know so so pwi and wrestling magazines is where it was at so we would always get so mad like we're doing good stuff we want to get the same coverage as these northeast people damn it but just imagine if the internet existed when omega was around I yeah mean, that would have been. That that been wild yeah you know? i mean i even think about that too like later down the road if i ever get the opportunity to like book something again i'm sure i will like i'm pretty excited like to kind of you know lay my hands on that you know and now and now you know about characters and developing stories yeah you yeah could, it could be more than just the in-ring product the in-ring so, product could be, can so be that more, yeah. and the development of characters and then taking young talent that have interesting characters and then like this is how you develop a story and then incorporate it with the matches and these are the things that you you're one of the few people that can do that with with a young piece of talent that's right. like i like your character we can do this with your character but you have great matches so let's refine the, the matches to reflect the story we're telling with this character mm -hmm. and and the way you use people like well, I, i'm gonna i'll put him over here he's my boss but tony khan is like very very ingenious how he uses characters like he's very smart at like getting the most out of everyone and even like now like originally i think the story i was going to be doing kind of got delayed or pushed back a little bit and i'm like multifarious Matt Hardy so there's different versions I mean I'm just managing private party right now and and legitimately I love those two guys well, the, two. Fantastic, the fantastic sweet dudes I've met them multiple times. oh yeah they're, they're great them. guys and and really like I'm able to talk to them almost like Michael Hayes did with me in yeah, some ways you know absolutely. and like well maybe try this or do this and you know we can kind of fine-tune their act and 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 they're 22 and 25 so like anything I can do to like help uh grow their professional or personal act I'm happy to do it because they're just two sweethearts two amazing guys mm -hmm. yeah once they put it all together and somebody like you to help them fix those little holes and piece that all together the like, uh, sky's the limit yeah I'm sure well, where are we at right now We're is it Dan Sky in the middle of a bidding war between uh, Brian Perez and Dan Sky Dan Sky is taking the lead at 625 625 we're at yeah. sky high there just like private parties Jaslyn Dan Jaslyn Dan sky high on all of that uh, let's just go and talk about AEW and just yeah. You know, you're you're excited. It's a new opportunity. Like I said, you're one of the few people that are still wrestling in the middle of all of this. Yeah. Just just talk about like how fortunate you are to still be able to be wrestling now and be out there on TV every week and and AEW as a company in general. Uh, it, it's great, and I feel very blessed and very fortunate. And and also the location of it. It's in Jacksonville, Florida. That's where we've been doing it at a close set. So I've just been able to drive back and forth. And yeah. it's a little bit of a long drive, but like, 
you know, anyone who's been on the Indies, as you know, a drive isn't a big deal. So yeah. I just jump on 95 and knock it out. But yeah. that way uh, my wife feels secure and I, I feel safe about my children as far as, like, protecting all of us from the virus as far as that goes. Yeah, because you're a little bit more contained. The only yeah. thing you're getting on is for gas. And yeah. You get yeah. stuff and you go right there, go right back. You're in the hotel, you're in a secure location, and come on back. Very much so. But just going there and being able to still perform on a company, that, especially they've been around a little over a year now, and they have made so many great strides, and there's just such a, a positive uh, feeling there, and there's just so much optimism about what we can do for the future, and, like, everybody gets listened to, everyone gets heard, and it's not it's not, it's not ruled or reigned by fear. It's like, you know, reigned by positivity in so many ways. Like, yeah, give us great ideas. We'll collaborate, we'll work, and we'll do this, and we'll make things happen. And, and it's just, it's the most, uh, most positive, optimistic workplace I think I've ever been in. I mean, I love my time at WDB. I, I did, but they're definitely, it's a big company, and it's like everyone is kind of a cog in the machine. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I love my stuff that I did at TNA Impact, and I had a blast. That was the the most fun I'd ever had the year I was doing the bro big money mat and then broken mat stuff whenever we had that year it was such a great uh, such a great time and I had like a, a big say in everything I was doing at that time but just the way AEW has like this extremely loyal and supportive fan base and, and, and the moves they're making and like the strides they're making little little over time little by little it's just been so great to see and they really are going to be a very big part of the pro wrestling industry going forward and obviously, like we talked about private party, but who are some other people in AEW, like preferably like newer guys, like, hey, I wasn't aware of this guy, but I'm aware of him now, and he's a guy that I, I need to keep my eye on and fans need to keep their eye on. Uh, one, one of the guys that really stood out to me was Darby Allen, like, because I hadn't followed him a lot, but just like uh, meeting him and speaking to him, he's such an interesting cat, and he really does have that very special it factor about him, that, that, that charisma that you really can't, understand or explain it's just very natural very reminiscent of my brother in many ways mm -hmm. they really do remind me of one another that, that, that's definitely been the, the big comparison right now but let's compare where these bids are at right now they are still going back and forth brian perez is in the lead at 775 775 brian perez dan sky let us know if sky is at your limit or 775 is your limit by letting us know if you're in or are you're out there we go badass brad so, and and then uh, another guy's gonna say is MJF, who I, I really I really dig his work and like, I uh, I would definitely love to see an MJF, big money Matt thing down the road in the future. Oh, okay. I, I think that'd be that'd, that'd, that'd be a hell of an okay. angle. But I, I do like I do like his work and like his throwback to the old days of bad guys and he gets the most mileage out of everything. So I, I I like him and he's very creative and he's also, a guy who's, absolutely able to relinquish his fear of being an asshole. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Absolutely, just accept where we're at. Yeah. But, um, you know, when you made your, your debut in AEW, it's, it's been an empty arena, basically. And yeah, my debut was the first empty arena show. Yeah, and you know, I know a lot of people are like, man, if this was in front of a crowd, people would lose their mind. But yeah. did you feel like, was it better, different, or like, oh, I wish there was a crowd to see this? Like, what was your reaction to, like, being in an empty arena like like this in a venue and making your big debut in a new promotion and you really want to kick us off right but circumstances have kind of led us down a different path yeah um i wish there could have been fans there i mean i think you always want fans to be there because wrestling fans are such a big part of the magic of what we do i mean they, they really do i i think if you're a wrestling fan Right now, you're going to look back on this period of where AEW and, and WWE are having these empty arena shows, and you're going to go, oh, my God, that was amazing content. Because it really is like what we do is so dependent, and, and it's such a big part of it is hearing the crowd go, ooh, ah, oh, yay, boo. And, and like, the bumps are way but, more with less people than us. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 too, that yeah. is a part of the magic. It's like... I, I was talking with a couple guys at TV last time. They said, what do you think we need to do, a young tag team? They said, what do you think we need to do to get to the next level? I said, it's got, you really can't get to a next level right now. Because, like, the only way you can really do something, have that instant barometer of if something is good or bad or something's working, is a crowd response. I mean, people at home at TV, they're watching, but it's very different. It's like, to, get, to not get that instant gratification, whether you're a good guy or a bad guy, is, like, is very strange. And, like, Broken Matt plays off the fans huge in so many ways he is a very uh he is a character who needs fans who plays off the fans so mm -hmm. it was so weird debuting as that the promo that myself and chris jericho did the the week after that it was so weird because there was no crowd at all there and it was just me and him in the ring and it's like 
you don't know is this good is this bad who, who knows even yeah. when i showed up it's just like you do it and then the show ends and it's over and you're like was that good or bad i don't know <laughs> people didn't cheer they didn't boo there, there was nothing so you know people are at home and you read feedback online and it's very jaded you always have to remember whatever you read on social media is it's not you know it's not too real and it, it, you know it's not too complimentary or, or not too insulting it, it's not real in so many ways you know like the the only way to really gauge what is real is by the audience in the venue and that's just not happening now well, let's see what's happening right now with these bids right now the vessel known as brian perez is at nine hundred dollars they are still going back and forth you're still he going back and forth. brian uh, <laughs> now uh as a reminder let's go plug come back to the items we're going back and forth on the auction right now but guys you can pick up you're not gonna be able to pick up the boots for anything less figures yeah i'm gonna get to those too don't worry i'm gonna plug everything uh -huh. uh, you're gonna miss out on the boots because we're at 900 right now uh, but guys, you can get the comic art print for forty dollars just by putting art print forty. Um, also, too, we have Omega forty as well, signed by Matt and Jeff. We have belts twenty right here. Also, too, delete twenty. Also, too, we got the ringside exclusive two pack uh, for one hundred and ten dollars right here. And then we have the battle pack for one hundred. Just put sold battle pack one hundred or Sold ringside collectibles 110. And of course, guys, Hardy Funko's $100. Sold Hardy Funko's $100. Uh, of, all the, of, uh, of all the action figures you signed today, 60 second clock at 900. Okay, 60 second clock, $900. Uh, quick question yes. of all the stuff that you signed today, what was the coolest thing you signed today, you think? Um. One, there are two things. It's a tie. One okay. is the Woken Matt uh, figure from WrestleMania 35 in the white. Yep. Just, uh, you probably got it here somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah I, got, I, got, I, got, I got it right just, here. Just to get that, which was, you know, 100% my creation somewhere outside of WWE, to come to WWE and get to do that and then actually have an action figure made of my likeness is very, very cool. And the other thing is probably the figures with myself and, and Jeff with the brood. Just with these t shirts, and this was such a good period. This is when we we're first starting to get over. And we got so hot, like it really changed our lives this period of time. And, and this shirt kind of is, is representative of that. And I still actually have this shirt and break it out. I wore it on AW a couple weeks ago, as a matter of fact. There you go. Well, you can, get, you can break this out for putting sold ringside collectibles 110. Or you can get pick this up and put sold Matt Hardy Elite Woken 60, one of Matt's favorite items. Yeah. Right now we're on the 10 second clock right now. $900 in 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations, Brian Perez. Brian Perez, nine hundred dollars. Rightfully so. Wonderful high spots boots worn by Matt Hardy. Wearing Excellent, Brian. There we go. Last item. Here we last go. piece of business. Bids will start at five. Work their way up. Matt, tell me about this last oh, item. Oh baby, now, th th these pants are famous. Uh, these pants are from when I first turned truly hill. Uh, as Matt Hardy, version one, the Sensei of Mattitude. I'm the one now! This is one of the early Mattitude outfits, and there was a coat that goes with it, but these pants I also wore as Broken Matt Hardy earlier on in TNA during my first run as I was getting some new stuff made. So these were worn, and they were in many classic famous segments on Raw and SmackDown as version one, and they were also worn as Broken Matt. And the last time I wore them was in the stadium stampede, which when I po popped up out of the pool, when I was in the, uh, the magical waters from the Lake of Reincarnation, were in the pool at the Jacksonville Jaguar Stadium. And I popped up as version one, which people loved. It was a great moment on that uh, stadium stampede match wearing these pants. So uh, that's the history behind these pants. They have been around for uh 18 18 years or so good just as long as i've been wrestling that's how long these yeah. pants have been around and also too there's a little bit of stitching here i'm going to go on the close-up camera just kind of show that you you got a little bit of work done on them there's some holes right there yeah you got just stitched up right there um it's still in really good condition overall but and one of the last times i wore them as broken mat in one of our one of our matches, I'm trying to think which one it was. It was a television match, but I had a big tear, which this can be sewn up. I just hadn't even repaired it off. It's just a little tear. It's almost like a Kid Dynamo's tights he used to wear with the little 
Yeah. Bell bottoms on the bottom, so. Absolutely, but uh, they've well, got some wear and tear, but they've done a lot of cool, cool things. But but I think it makes them just as cool, and you and you want them just like this, anyways. And they've been around for years. But what well, we don't have years on these bids. Where are we at right now? We are at five hundred to Dan Sky. Dan Sky, Dan you Sky. Mi you missed out on the boots. You're not gonna miss out on the pants. <laughs> We're at five hundred dollars right now. Talk about um the the the, the stadium stampede. Yeah. How much fun that was to put all that together. Was it a collaborative thing? Was it piece by piece? Did you have it storyboarded out? Talk about just that whole thing. Yeah, we uh, we took some time the day before and kind of like tried to like walk around the stadium and see what we had to work with and whatnot. And it, it was so cool. It was the first time Chris Jericho had really been in like one of these cinematic deals, you know, in some way. And like... We kind of just selected different guys in different areas, then everybody kind of went and worked their own thing out. And then the next night we filmed it. And I know Chris talked about this on one of his, I think, uh, Saturday Night Live specials or whatever. We were shooting it and we were doing good. We were knocking it out. We were knocking it out. All the guys were busting our ass. A huge rainstorm came, mm -hmm. like during the middle of this. And we were still shooting outside. And the stuff that we shot inside the bar, I think, had been done already. And we couldn't finish until this, until the rain stopped. And we lost like two, two and a half hours. We lost a lot of time that night because it rained for like an hour and a half. And they had to dry some stuff up. I know like the Bucks, when Matt Jackson ran down the stairs and jumped up on the rail and did the deal and put Chris through a table, it had already rained at that point. Ugh. So, you know, we were very worried about slipping. And also the deal when myself and Kenny... Uh, chased Sammy up and they ended up doing the big bump all, uh, at the very end. Mm -hmm. That was like done moments, I feel like, before the sun was about to come up. You know, so like we were racing to finish oh, that. Because you get lose the light and then you yeah, have and, time to redo yeah, it. And, and, and if the sun comes up and there's light, it's definitely, you're going to lose continuity. Mm -hmm. And it was very reminiscent of when we did the final deletion. Because we only did that, there was a four person crew whenever we did the final deletion. Mm -hmm. You know, and there was myself, my brother, my wife, uh, Senior Benjamin, uh, Kevin Keenan, the referee, and King Maxwell was in it. That, that was pretty much it. And that, that was the entire cast. Whenever we were shooting that deal, you can see at the very end when Jeff goes up on the big symbol of his to jump off onto me and I light it on fire, you can see the sun starting to like peek out right at the bottom. Like we were racing sunrise during that. And that's one of the tricky things about those cinematic matches, especially if you're doing them at night and, and you need that consistency of the darkness and, and light and and uh and night the whole while like if you don't start those things early and like keep moving and like bust your ass to get through it, especially if you're moving around to a lot of locations then you can get burnt if you don't finish it by the time the sun comes up mm -hmm. and then even one of those with bray wyatt at your your place as well we did in wwe and i remember you guys wrapped like just before sun sun up yes we brought the ring out because you did you brought the ring you guys brought the ring and that that was another thing that was like uh a lot later than we'd expected because we kind of had some stuff laid off and uh, laid out that we were going to do and like uh, Michael Hayes and the crew that was there they got a call and like we had four people on the final deletion there were probably 25 people working on this you know what I mean and we had two separate camera crews and they were moving around but it was almost like there were so many lights and cameras it was so much stuff to move it almost like slowed us down in some capacity and then you had like look at it review it do it in the review process over and over again but i like this just this. setting up shots i mean like the final deletion was like very gritty it was very raw in gorilla style ways. let's go let's go let's go let's yeah go. and and we we're just trying to burn through stuff but it was also it was so real and it, it was a moment mm -hmm. i think when you go back and watch that it's like it's far from perfect you know we were like learning as we were going along every step of the way me and jeff and jb and jimmy but it was, it was a moment, and in my career it's really a moment because the final deletion is the first thing that I ever did where I had people saying, like, after it aired and went viral, people weren't saying, like, when are you going back to WWE? When are you going back to WWE? When are you going to do another TLC? They're saying, when are you going to do another final deletion? When are you going to do another final deletion? And, like, that was casual fans that were saying it because they saw it on YouTube or Daily Motion or whatever it was because it was everywhere in a few days after that. So... The, the ultimate deletion was a, another thing. Like, I want to say, like, Michael Hayes and crew, they got a call from Vince, like, at one thirty two in the morning, and, like, a couple things were tweaked or changed mm -hmm. or whatever. So it slowed us down, and then just, like, moving so many lights and cameras and, and chargers, and just, it was such a big operation, you know. It was almost like we needed two nights for it in some ways. Absolutely. And, and the thing, too, is that, you know, you look at it now, there's all these cinematic matches, and they talk about, let's last WrestleMania. A lot of people were like, Matt Hardy was doing this in his backyard yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah, Once yeah. again, being ahead of the curve. Well, yeah, one thing I want to say to everyone out there, like, I know some people, like, 
moan and complain when they see cinematic matches but like i want to i want everyone to keep this in mind and like i'm just gonna get on my soapbox for a moment like we're in the midst of a pandemic and like wrestling is really the only thing going more than anything else you know and you're getting live content every week and just being a promoter being a performer and the challenges that we're having to deal with is creating new entertaining content thinking out of the box and trying to do things that are really like oh because the standards are set so high in the business to do all that without actual fans and you know like cinematic matches are okay like you know i definitely saw the uh the boneyard match i thought it was great i know jb oversaw that i did it. i saw the firefly fun house and i'm great friends with with bray wyatt so i dug that as well didn't get to see money in the bank but like these things are cool and it's just like and i get it if you're a diehard wrestling fan and someone who grew up on you know 80s nice styles of wrestling and you want all your stuff in the ring and always be legitimate but like the business is changing and also like we're in this extremely crazy time and like i'm very happy that we're able to give you guys content the stadium stampede match both myself and chris and we've both been around for nearly three decades we were like tickled with that and we thought it was amazing it's one of the greatest things we've both done and we loved it every every second of it so we'll see what every second's been going on with these bids right here jeff dino's at 650 Jeff Dino is at 650. Who's going back and forth? Does anybody need to let me know? Stephen Matthew. Stephen Matthew, let us know if you're Stephen in Brewer. or you're out. Stephen Brewer. Stephen Brewer. No. Yeah. We got we Jazzy Jeff in the lead. We got Jazzy Jeff right now in the lead. Uh, Steve, let us know if you're in or are you out right now. People are also asking if they can buy the shirt off of your back right now. <laughs> <laughs> the shirt? Yes. Hmm. Or this shirt. Which one do you want? You you want this off or what? Because this is. <laughs> you, you, you have shirts here, right? Michael? Oh, yeah, we got yeah, shirts. We got tons of shirts. We got tons right? of shirts. Not that. You want this shirt? I don't know. If someone's wanting to sell it, I'll sell the shirt off my back, man. Okay, okay. I'm a carny. I worked in the wrestling business for three decades, <laughs> damn it. This guy was selling picture combos before everybody else was, <laughs> all right? So, but, uh, yeah, we sold all kinds of stuff. Uh, talk about cinematic matches. Um, what, are, what are some other challenges with cinematic matches? You, is it one of those things? I, I was just involved with something down in Georgia. A very top secret thing. There's kind of a cinematic match. Yeah. And they, I know they, what you speak of. Yeah. They they had a hard time starting. Yeah. And it, and and I just and I had to tell one of them like, hey, just just go. Yeah. Just start recording because once you hit, it's this hitting record on the first frame is always the toughest part. And it seems like once you're in it, you start making it. Then, um, is that your kind of your reaction, or do you like, hey, let's get everything? ready to go and then let's go do it or it's like hey just hit record and we'll figure it out later yeah i know i mean i, I like to have a game plan especially yeah. now I, I think it's good if you kind of like have you know y if you know what you want to end up with and then kind of work backwards almost like a wrestling match in mm -hmm. so many ways if you know you know what you have and then like the thing that was so cool about the final deletion we got to do little uh almost vignettes like the deal with maxwell's first birthday his party and we got to talk about it. i have to get rid of jeff because he's you know, gonna put a stain on my family name and I want you to never have to deal with the stain, King mm -hmm. Maxwell Hardy, you know, and then we get to see the thing where uh, I mow through his yard, all those designs, and it was just so absurd, so ridiculous, but that was like such an amazing clip and like lived on for so long. And like mm -hmm. the more of lawns, a lawnmower became famous and got over just because of all that. Um, the thing with the drones coming in, you know, we just like set up this big thing and then like looking back at the final deletion, one of the things I would definitely do if I had to go back and change it, is I would have like shortened up what we did in the ring, you know, like because we wrestled around, we tried to like start like a little match and do some wrestling, and it was like super late. We were both tired of shit already, and then if we would have, if I'd done that in hindsight, we would have wrestled, and it would have probably been a third as short, and then we would have done more stuff outside the ring, more antics, you know what I mean? Because that's where it is with those antics. I feel like the wrestling is best served in the ring in front of a crowd, and when you do the cinematic things, I think it's time to just like get to the get to the meat and potatoes of it and do what you can really do in that environment where you're like making a movie in some ways like a cinematic match should be Vince McMahon's dream because he's always just wanted to make movies you know what I mean we make like, movies pal. And, and, yeah we make movies and, and that's truly what you're doing mm -hmm. absolutely and what we're doing right now is uh with the bids Jeff Dino at 650 so you can start the 60 seconds start the 60 seconds right here Jeff Dino we're on the 60 second clock right now I was um, just gonna say because his name's Jeff my brother Jeff had an idea about doing something. Whenever I was Matt Hardy version one and I had Mattitude, mm -hmm. Jeff said, what if I had something and I was like, you know, like effervescence, if I was Jeffervescence. <laughs> and I don't know why I just thought of that, but that is a true story to go along with these Mattitude pants. <laughs> At one point, Jeff may have been the sensei of Jeffervescence. 
<laughs> Random story. Random story. Okay, we're, we're good on that for the 30 seconds right now. Uh, Jeff, do you know you're going to get these pants right here? Uh, you can be a Jeff Vescent in these <laughs> pants as well. And we're about to count. Uh, you know, Matt, we're getting down towards the end here. I can't thank you enough for, for everything you've done. You're going to do the personalizations here in a little bit. Yes. So, guys, get your get your delete 20. Get in. Bel belts 20. We also got uh, Omega 40. We got yeah. the art print sure. 40 as well. Uh, we got the we got the Twitter one 60. So get it all in now. Here's your opportunity. Last call for everything. We're down for the 10 second right here. And uh, his shirt. People are like want his shirt. They want his shirt. Oh, yes. What about is Jeff gonna get it with his hair? No one else's bid. So go ahead and start the 10. All right, we're gonna do 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations, uh, Jeff Ori. You're the winner of these pants. They're about as old as my wrestling career. We've wrapped it up. We're good to go. Um, we got a we got we got a special DVD special at, at the end here. We got the Hardy Boys Ultimate Insider DVD for ten dollars. Or, 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 yeah, yeah. If you want oh, to, you sure. want to do it? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Well, the DVD special is all. Just put Hardy's Ultimate Insider ten. If you want the DVD special, we're gonna auction off Matt's shirt. The shirt off his back. I am very loyal to my people out there, right. and I, honestly, this is very genuine. Uh, if you've been a fan or supporter of mine, I couldn't live my dream without you. Without you, there would be no me. So thank you very much. And I guess there's been several requests from people in the chat about getting this shirt. The uh, Old it's House right Hardy here. Nintendo Delete shirt, so mm -hmm. I am I'm gonna sell you the shirt off my back, because I am a carny in a carny's land. Okay, and, and the bid started five. They start working their way up, but they're gonna work their way up as Matt works that shirt off of his yeah, back yeah. right there. Is go right there, and also too. Well, he's taking his. I got my T-shirts available. These empty right arena, uh, these empty arena shows are tough. Like back in the day, if I take my shirt off, I'd get a big pop. Yeah, but know, right? exactly. That's Nobody here. <laughs> Nobody cares. I went. I went to grab my shirt. So if you're interested in buying my shirt, you can get it for a Man Scout Promise 25. Man Scout. Like I said, I'm I'm kind of like your server here. This is how I make my tips. So if you want my Man Scout shirt, say Man Scout uh, Promise 25. I just got this reissued. Just got these re back in. They're awesome shirts. Just put that Man Scout Promise 25. But Matt, right now, we got bids coming in. It's Gerard, a very shirt. Gerard Buttonberg's at 120. Gerard Buttonberg, 120. Uh, that's our buddy from the Netherlands, if I'm not mistaken. So the Netherlands. The Netherlands. He bought Tony a uh, beautiful place. Yes, he bought a uh, Teddy Long suit. Okay. So he might be walking away with that t shirt. Mm -hmm. He might be putting that t shirt on with Teddy Long suit. I don't know. Uh, how big Gerard is or not, but uh, is that what is this? A, this is an AEW or is this a WWE? What, what this is a, uh, a Matt Hardy from oh. my store. From from your store. Is Matt Hardy, yeah. This is a uh, an old school before we went back to WWE. I had a Pro Wrestling Tea store mm -hmm. and it is reopened uh, now that I am outside of WWE mm -hmm. and in AEW. Yes, so this is what this is a House Hardy shirt. Delete, delete, delete. There you go. So Davis Michaels at 140. We are at 140 right now. The shirt off your very back. I think people just wanted to see you shirtless. I think that Maybe. they wanted me in the tightest shirt possible and you shirtless. Right now, this is the most interesting picture, the most interesting frame that you're seeing on the internet right now. People are scrolling through Facebook going, what is going on right now? And why is Jeff <laughs> bald all of a sudden? Um, <laughs> and what size is it? This is a large, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is a large. Oh, it's a large it's size. Show the guns, show that. This is a small, if you're curious. Uh, <laughs> People want to see my DDP yoga is working at all, you know? <laughs> Jose Nakara at 170. Jose Nakara 170. 170. Um, Jose. How, how many t shirts do you have available on your Pro Wrestling t store right now? Uh, I probably have 20 t shirts. Okay. And even some, there's like one of my wife. There's a Vanguard One mm -hmm. shirt, you know, rest in peace. Um, there's a couple, uh, there's a couple, there's a King Maxwell, there's a Senior Benjamin, there's a few different things. But uh, several Matt Hardy, and then it's also attached to my AEW store. Okay. You know, where you can, uh, AEW, I try and, like, uh, detour people from being trolls on the Internet, you know, mm -hmm. and, like, on Twitter, because there's a lot of people out there that just randomly troll people with mean things. I say, delete the urge to be a hole of the ass, you That's know. Great, yeah. Like Le Champion, Chris Jericho. Yeah, or just delete the app, like I did. <laughs> or delete, yeah. You delete the app, yeah, you get rid of it all, yeah, right? I'm, I'm done with Instagram. I'm done Twitter right now, so...
I don't know if I'm coming back. I'm it's, pretty happy right it's, now. It's it's weird. Like I I love interacting with people, and there's so I many good people on there. I but then too. sometimes there's just so many bad people who just like get on there literally to just like, you know, try and stir up trouble, and it just like becomes a cesspool, which is sad. Yeah. Because it's a great thing, you know, and like something I said years and years ago, you know, the greatest thing about social media is that it gives everyone a voice. The worst thing about social media is that it gives everyone a voice. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think we need to like put into effect that you have to like pass a test, a competency test to like actually have a license to be on Twitter or Instagram. Mm -hmm. We need license for these things. Yeah, and then the we more, can't just let anybody own there. Absolutely, and then sometimes you, you attach your value to it, like, oh, I thought this was a good joke, <laughs> and I got nothing. And right. then, like, I thought this picture was good, but it's nothing. Or, like, I put this dumb thing, and this worked. And it's like, <laughs> it's, it's this weird thing you attach value to it when it's like, it's all bullshit. It doesn't well, make anything. It's, I, I, I tell this to young wrestlers all the time. Whenever you read, the, now, especially because we're doing empty arena shows, mm -hmm. right? The most instant feedback you're going to get is going to be online, whether it's like, websites that cover wrestling or Twitter or Facebook or Instagram and I just tell people like if you're getting comments from people that you don't know that you legitimately don't know and can't really put any stock in like you can't take any compliment too seriously and you can't take any insult too seriously you know what I mean mm -hmm. because it's just literally people voicing their opinion and that doesn't make it right or wrong so a lot of people fall into that trap online yeah and, and even like shows that I've done that are streaming and like they're, they're active and there's the hashtag that people follow and i'll go out there and there's like oh i got a good crab reaction but i'll go back and i like no reaction online or a yeah. bad reaction i go wait but they you, they bought tickets they wanted to come here you're watching something that's a part of a subscription package right and you don't like it right and it, it, it's confusing and it's like this doesn't make any sense the data you, you think like i could take this data of like they, okay this doesn't work and this doesn't work and i need to be better at this but you're like no these data points are two opposite ends it makes no sense right yeah sometimes so you know? yeah no i agree you know but uh but yeah you have to be careful who you listen to i, I think now in this day and age especially as a wrestler or stand-up comedian or whatever kind of performer you are in entertainment you can hear everyone but you have to be very careful and selective of who you actually listen to you know true. True. but speaking of social media actually one of these posters that we were selling you've got from social media right here this is a really cool thing it's a twitter yeah. poster we were selling this both you and jeff Matson. you can still get this for 60 dollars as well we'll plug that right now before i check the bids where are we at on the bids for matt shirt uh, jose nakara is at 210. 210. 210. 210. I mean, 40 more dollars to keep up with the average of 250 for yeah, every man, shirt in Matt Hardy's closet. Maybe you need to up your price on your Pro Wrestling Key store. All the shirts <laughs> are 250 because that's, <laughs> that's the market value. That's yeah. the market value, they, obviously. They, they know this one came out. It'll have my little scent. That, I, have, I have a little uh, special. Myself and my brother both wear the same cologne we have for years. And people can always like smell us when we come in the room. Well, what is so it? What, 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 get what there. It's uh, a CKB. CKB. Okay. It's a, it's a, it's a, hopefully my secret safe with you and the rest of the yeah, world. Okay. Uh, so like you, you'll be able to smell that on here. It's mm -hmm. a genuine shirt, and then plus I'll hook it up. I'll personalize it in the in the most special way possible. Yeah, you'll have some of that chest hair in there. That's how you personalize yeah, it. Have a shame. <laughs> and clean up a little bit. Over on the 60 second right now, as we said, who's it? Who's it? Jose right Nakara, 210. Who is it? Nakara, 210. We're on the 60 second clock. We're wrapping things up right now. Guys, remember the DVD special for tonight is uh, Hardy's Ultimate Insiders, $10. I'm selling my shirts, Man Scout Promise shirts. 25 that's a promise this is a certain slaughter knockoff i wore this okay that's all right yeah so you know, that's, that's all right parody yeah. right there cool. i wore it in front of him he didn't put me in a cobra clutch so i'm okay to do that but uh guys as a reminder we still got the art print 40 available still have the omega 40 available belts 20 available and delete 20 available also to Hardy Funko sold. Hardy Funko one hundred dollars. Uh -huh. Plugging it one more time. Are we in the thirty second clock? Are we at the basketball count? We're at the basketball count right now for Jose. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations, Jose. You get this for steal. Two ten cheaper than all the other two hundred fifty dollars uh -huh. shirts. Congratulations, Jose. I'll take that for you, Matt. I'll put it in a go. pile. But we'll put we'll give you a shirt here in a second. But Matt, uh, before we get out of here, uh, anything you want to say to your fans, uh, shirtless to everybody else. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, 
there's been a lot of fans that have been with me for so so long and have followed me completely on this journey and i just want to say really thank you i mean i i greatly appreciate it i greatly appreciate your support i'm just a, a kid from the middle of nowhere in north carolina cameron who was able to be blessed and like live out my dream and now i'm very excited to be at aw i think some really cool stuff is coming in the future and i just want you guys to tune in and check them out because uh all elite wrestling is also the first real chance we've had to like have another company besides wwe in a long time and it's very important that they not only survive and thrive but they grow and become another landing spot for all the young wrestler and for posterity and that is part of my goal there to try and give back and make it a place where other guys can go and work and make a living because we need more of that in the wrestling business so make sure you tune in every wednesday to aw dynamite i'm going to be on there every wednesday for a long long time absolutely and tune in every thursday here at the virtual gimmick table especially uh -huh. next thursday we got summer ray in studio but make sure you tune in this saturday at the owner's kitchen table and this sunday as well uh, i'll be in the office all weekend long pulling orders from the fourth of july special most everybody's got your invoices most everybody will get their invoices for this over the weekend, but I will be here all weekend pulling orders for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Thank you very much, Matt Hardy. And thank you for everybody who bid and won auctions. Pay your invoices. Have a good night. And thank you again for joining us here in the virtual gimmick table. Thanks, guys.